welcome guys oh let me get my mic hopefully this isn't loud yay let me know whenever you guys can see me i feel like i need a more um what's the word graceful way to appear on stream <laughs> but i don't know how to do that <laughs> welcome i'm excited to continue chapter two especially after the last chapter the last episode in general was so crazy i'm excited to see my new best boy, Sarugi, <laughs> who has a little bit of a wild streak. I'm excited to see what happens this chapter. Welcome. Okay, it seems like you guys can see me. Yay! I'm excited. You guys excited? <laughs> Do you guys remember Mitch in the chat? I was wondering, I was like, is Mitch going to come back as a ghost? He's got to he's gotta visit us in the chat again. We need to see, we need to see Mitch's ghost. He's always watching over us. <laughs> awesome. I am excited, but also nervous. <laughs> and please, no like hinting or um, spoiling anything in the chat. I pinned um, a known message about it. Of course, like no hate speech to or spam or things like that. So uh, yeah, please uh, just remember to follow those rules in chat. And yeah, I guess we can go ahead and get started pretty soon. Also, something I do want to say actually before I start, um, I remember Zeph saying that um, they're the translator that. Um, not all the free time events are translated for the characters. We might get into free time events today, so I just figured I'd bring it up. Um, I think you can only really, like, like, not all the free time events are translated. I think I saw one character whose free time events were translated, so I guess we'll hang out with them in um, Zeph's message. But if they come to chat, I guess we'll ask them about that. But also, Zeph does have, like, a bunch of the free time events, like, translated on their YouTube channel. So it's like, we can always do that during... Um, like the time that I'm supposed to be uh, <laughs> supposed to be doing free time events just to kind of keep it organized. But I was gonna let you guys know and kind of get y'all's opinion on that too. And thank you, let me read, uh, Cherry Bomb, thanks for the donation. Hello, hello to you too. <laughs> oh wait, is Mitch, is Mitch back in chat? I see a lot of people talking about Mitch. <laughs> Mitch can walk, watch the stream from hell. <laughs> you guys are brutal. <laughs> Yeah, Kanata's free time events. Yeah, that's who I thought uh, was um, the person in, uh, or the person whose free time events was translated for this chapter. So, it's like, I don't know if anybody else is. I don't think so, but we'll probably hang out with her. Hopefully we get gifts for her. I was like, damn it. I wanted it to be Sarugi, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll live. <laughs> I'll make it somehow. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad everybody else hates Mitch, too. It's, you know, it's kind of refreshing, honestly, for, um, I don't know, for there to be a character we can all, like, unify. Like, we can all unify in hating Mitch. Like, it's kind of nice. <laughs> like, ah, oh, yes, I can get out all my freaking anger on Mitch. <laughs> this fictional character. Okay. But I tested out the audio, so it should be good this time, hopefully. But let me know if it, uh, doesn't seem, doesn't seem good. Okay. Do we stand Mitch? No, that's why he got yassified. <laughs> oh man, I would love it if the executions were just like Kenji yassifying people. If he's the mastermind, uh, that's how we know if Mitch is the ma- or not Mitch, uh, Kenji's the mastermind or not. I hate this actually. Ugh. Jesus, my mic is so like loose. <laughs> okay, not gonna mess with that anymore. <laughs> Y'all can hear me okay, right? It's like, I think technically it's like spun around. Holy shit. When did this happen? So probably my cat messed it up. Okay. He likes to do that. He likes to mess with my stuff. That's it. That's expensive. Okay. But uh, cool. I think um, it seemed like it was working. Like everything was translated and good to go when I tried this out earlier. So I think we should be uh, should be good. Okay. Ah, I'm like, I'm nervous because like, oh yeah, except for this part. This was like the only part that wasn't translated from what I could see. I don't know what I choose. <laughs> but it seemed like it was translated afterwards. It's like... Hey, Yuki, do you want to kill everybody in the school? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I could be selecting that. I have no clue. Okay. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, cool. It does sound better. I, I swear to God, it probably was my cat. He's been, like, walking on my desk, like, all over the place. So, yeah, I think he just flipped it over. I was like, why does my mic look so weird? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's reversed. <laughs> oh, thanks, Seth, for joining. I'll help you out if you have any questions about this build. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'll let you know. Okay, and I'm not totally sure if this stream is gonna have the victim reveal. I'll put it in the title if um, we end up seeing the victim reveal, but I'm not really sure how long this chapter is gonna be, so we'll just see when we get there. 
Yuki, Yuki, save me. Yuki, mom is really struggling right now. Help, Yuki. Flashbacks about all the dead people. Yuki, I'm sorry. I haven't done anything properly yet. It's it's so unfair to die. I know. It wasn't fair that you died. Not so much for Mitch, though. <laughs> oh, welcome, Nuck. Thanks for coming to the stream. In a place I don't even know about. <laughs> you, I'm okay with watching suffer. You, kid, you bastard. You, you incited everyone to lead me to death. You put my dream of getting out of here to death. Yeah, whatever. I don't feel bad about it. And I'd do it again. Mida, Mida, Yuki, Mida, Yuki, Mida, Mida, Yuki, Mida, Yida, Yuki, Mida, Yuki, Mida, 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 Yuki, Mida. Who is that? <laughs> like a rap song for a little bit. Oh my god, Junko talking to me from the dead. <sighs> I still think Yuki's sus as hell. What that weird despair dream. I mean, I guess this one seems like a little bit, uh, a little bit, you know, less like sus. I never had that weird dream where it was like, I was looking at despair and I was like, this is, this is totally awesome. I can't remember exactly what it was. But it was pretty, um, it was pretty, pretty suspicious. Hello everyone, morning has arrived. It is 7 a.m. Wake up time. Let's have a lively day. Let's kill each other. Oop, boop, boop. Damn it, I had a nightmare. I don't feel well. I lost two two friends in one day. Why do you guys call Mitch a friend? He was not a friend. Just yesterday. If I can even sleep, it's weird. The first morning without two friends. God, my bestie Mitch. The goal of getting out of here remi remains the same, but the mood will be different from the past. Starting today. What should I do? After the class trial, oh, after the class trial was over yesterday, we decided to rest in our rooms and return to our private room without saying a word. I hope everyone is okay. Oh, somebody's knocking on the door. Oh, is it my best boy, Sarugi? Who is it? It's gonna be so weird with him now, cause like he was like the glue keeping us together, and now we're like, oh, you're <laughs> you're a little off your marble marbles a little bit, Sarugi. Not maybe not quite the person we want. Um, <laughs> not quite the person we want uh, leading us right now. Well, in a situation like this, for a person to come to my room is I can't figure that out yet. They come to murder my ass. Let's see. It might be the maid girl. Oh, oh god, it is you. <laughs> oh, it's Kinjo. Why? Mayda, you don't look very good. Hey, best boy. You can't be... I can't be good. Two friends have died. <laughs> How many times I have to fucking tell you Mitch is not a friend? I feel the same way. I couldn't sleep because the shock of Maki's death didn't go away. He doesn't even mention Higa. As he should. <laughs> but in order to not let her death be in vain, why don't we get out from here as soon as possible? That's true. Anyways, we must have... Uh, Anyways, we must have cooled down a lot more than yesterday, so let's all get together and talk. I have something to tell you. Okay, something to tell me? I'll, I'll let you know soon. Come to the dining hall. Okay. Oh, man. Kinjo, who's strong in action and leadership, but yesterday we saw that face as evil little sprite, and a feeling of disbelief arised. Oh, gosh. Are you really tolerating Higa's murder? Of course, it is also murder what that Monokuma did to Higa. Even Monokuma is a bastard criminal who deserves to die. But leaving Higa alone wouldn't be safe. A murderer must be punished severely. It's like, I'll carry out the, mon the executions for you, Monokuma. Don't even, don't even worry about it, bro. <laughs> what, you, so you think it's good that Higa died? <laughs> of course, anyone who kills even one person has no right to live here. Oh, gosh. Such a little weirdo. Kinjo's desire to protect us is real. No matter how he got killed, such a statement ignores human dignity. Which makes it different to think about it here. But it's true he has a good brain. For now, I should head to the dining hall. It's kind of weird to have, I guess, uh, you know, kind of like the antagonistic character would be the person who was, like, leading us at the beginning. Hello, this is a translator's note. First, I'd like to thank you for playing this version of the game. There's bound to be typos and miswordings since this translation is just a beta release for chapter two till six, private build. And if you, oh, and you'll be given a little boost in skills since chapter one is not in this build. You can use these medals, medals to buy your skills. Oh, cool. 
Hey, hell yeah. <laughs> I was wondering how that was gonna work. So I was like, I'm pretty sure I got like 60 mono coins from uh, the last one. I was like, I really want to spin those, but hell yeah, now I got uh, I got 150. Thank you. Ah, thank you, Zeph. Oh, cool. Because it's like little pictures now, so we actually know everybody's rooms. Ah, Tyra, Hatano. Hello, Maida Kuhn. Good morning, Maida. Why are you two together? But why are you two together? Oh, what's wrong? Me and Ayame Chan are good friends, right, Ayame Chan? <laughs> when did you guys become friends? Yes, three of us, Tyra and Maki, became my closest friends while talking in the dining hall. Ah. Yeah, and even Maki. Yeah. Uh, Kyoka Chan. Uh. Sorry, I've been depressed since this morning. That was my bad. It's hard to get over. Ah, uh, no, it's okay, Yami Chan. All we have to do is work hard for Kyoka Chan's sake. By the way, Maida, were you also on your way to the drinking, the dining hall when Kinjo called you? Yeah, hearing that, he must have called you guys. Hearing that, he must have called you guys too. Oh, thank you, uh, Zetsis, for uh, becoming a sponsor. Appreciate it. Kinjo, I can't seem to trust him somehow because of that attitude yesterday. Oh, yeah, Connie's like, I don't know, she's kind of like, she's very outspoken about her opinions. <laughs> she's gonna like berate him. <laughs> How dare you, Kinjo? I still can't believe it. How can he take human life so lightly when he says he's going to protect us? It's like, it's kind of weird with those types of characters too, because he's like, if you kill, you're a piece of shit murderer, but he's also okay with murderers dying. I was like, what would happen if he killed, like, uh, Mitch? It's like, technically, in your, you know, terms, you're serving justice, but also, technically, you're an evil, irredeemable killer because you killed him. It's like, kind of interesting with uh, those types of characters. I'm curious to know how he, like, justifies his beliefs and stuff when it comes to that. Come on, Tyra, it doesn't change that Kinjo's our leader, so let's at least hear him. Uh, all right, at least he has a smart, uh, smarter brain than me. Well then, Maida, let's go ahead first. Okay, I'll be there in a minute soon. Let me move my cord too. Ah, it's bothering me. Even in a place like this, friendship thrives. Even so, it's sad that Maki and them were close. I didn't even realize they were close. Now, I shouldn't be thinking this. I have to go to the dining hall quick. Okay, what's gonna go down at the dining hall? Oh, hey, Kazuna, I believe. Hey, Tamori. I think I just like I have a good. I'm good at like memorizing the last names, but the first names I'm still a little like <laughs> a little unsure of. Yes, Rugi, you are the best. <laughs> you are the best boy. I do agree. Hello, Tamori. And my no Yuki Kun. Hi. Did you did you sleep well? Sleep while you say I had complete nightmares. Yeah, that's to be expected. Yeah, me too. Ha, huh, and Saruki kun went nuts. We all saw that yesterday that he was a completely twisted guy. Still, I think he's found something, so let's hear him out, I guess. <laughs> Yuki kun, you can't be this nice even during the class trial. Even Saruki kun took full advantage of you. Yeah, for real, everybody was like, tell him, Yuki. I was taken advantage of. Oh my, maybe you didn't realize it? It's like, yeah, literally, I think, like, him, uh, Sarugi, and Ray both knew who it was, like, immediately. <laughs> so you're just like, we want to see you solve it. <laughs> you dummy. God, you're so stupid, Yugi. Um, I think it, is it down here? No, I guess it's the other way. I don't think, I can't remember if there's a way to run in this game. I feel like there isn't. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Oh, Kenji, yes. Uhara, did you sleep well? It's Maida. I had a good sleep. And you? Um, I had a nightmare. I didn't sleep well. I'm glad you did, though. It's strange to sleep well in a situation like this. It is normal for you. By the way, it seems Kenjo is calling us today. You too. I was about to go as well. Right. I'll be going on ahead. Don't be late. <laughs> Kenji's nightmare is like, I lost Drag Race. <laughs> it was so disturbing. <laughs> no, Kenji. It's okay. That would never happen. You would never get last place in track race. <laughs> oh, thank you. Popcorn and chicken. Hey, Weeby. I'm curious. Are you accepting mods still? Because I want to try to be a mod to prevent spoilers. Um, it kind of just depends. I'll let you know, um, depending on um, kind of like how many spoilers we get in chat, honestly. I feel like my Streamlabs isn't working 
Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was just making sure. But uh, I'll probably, I might recruit some more mods for like uh, the next streams. I think for this one we're good, but I'll let you know in the future. It just kind of depends on each uh, stream. So, are we all here? Yes, everyone is present. This is everyone now? Aw. It's gonna get a lot lower later. The absence of two people feels too big. We could have we could have been better friends under different circumstances. Well, setting that aside, get to the point why you brought us here, psycho. So setting that aside, at least give us time to mourn our friends. We don't have time for that. Do it in your own time. I'd rather not spend my time with you all. Then why don't you screw off, four-eyed bitch? <laughs> oh my god. A cat fight! Hey, did anyone notice Yamaguchi isn't her before anymore? Uh, really? <laughs> That's irrelevant! Everyone be quiet. Don't make a mess. Although I'd love to piss off as soon as possible like that slut said. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want to hear what you have to say first, Sarugi. I admit that you are someone worth listening to. Man. <laughs> Excuse me? Did you just call me a slut? I'll fucking murder you. Hey, that's where I come in. Hell yeah, you can. <laughs> What's wrong? Isn't it true? I'm sure everyone knows that you flirt with every single male around the whole school. Are you managing a fish farm now? Jesus. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Fight, fight, fight. I mean, uh, guys, stop it. <laughs> I said stop. Do you think I called you guys here to fight each other? Right, oh, and isn't there something more urgent? Makaru just wants to be spoken to. I'll talk to you too, Makaru. Seriously, that's not the important thing. She's so out of it. Guys, let's calm down. Tell us, Kenjo, please. Thank you, Makako. I know we're all having a hard time after what happened yesterday, but there's something I must let you know. What is it, mate? I'm feeling all tired now. Can you make it as short as you can? Before that, I need to make something very clear. Oh no, you're gonna go on another monologue. What would that be? Didn't I tell you yesterday that from now on, I'll do whatever it takes to protect everyone? Oh Jesus. However, even I can no longer be confident that another murder will not take place. So let's make some changes in our group. Huh. Changes? Make some changes? In a nutshell, we'll sort out the class to people who will follow my rule and those who won't. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's divide up everybody. If you agree to follow my command and seek order no matter what happens, I promise to protect you to the best of my abilities. Oh, man. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, the Angie's Council thing. I mean, obviously, it's a bit different because she was kind of manipulating them with, like, hope and, like, religion and stuff. But it is interesting to have, like, a separate group. I guess we'll see. I feel like Yuki might join him. We'll see. It'd be kind of cool if we were given the choice, but I kind of doubt it. <laughs> but if you can't agree on those terms, I have no intention of protecting you. Shit. So for those of you who won't follow my command, I ask you to leave. Jesus. Wait, what? Kenjo, are you nuts? I saw the looks you guys were giving me. Y'all think I'm crazy. You think I'm on some Kamida shit. Come on. Why are you so surprised? It should be an easy choice if you're confident in yourself. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There he goes again. If you're confident that you'll never commit murder, that is. I, I mean, of course we won't, but what's wrong with you? I thought you were going to protect everyone. Anything sounds achievable when put in words. Did any of you expect Mitsuhiro Higa to commit murder? Eh, eh, I <laughs> he seemed kind of douchey, so I don't know. I kind of expected it maybe a little bit. Well, no, but... That's unrelated. You said that you won't care about friends who disagree with you. How is that protecting everyone? Hear me out. I believe that those friends who choose to leave the dining hall out of their own volition are refusing to act as a group. Yeah, Ray's totally gonna leave, isn't she? <laughs> Imagine if everybody just leaves the room. <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. Oh my god, that'd be kind of hilarious, actually. Like, wait a second, guys. It wasn't supposed to work out this way. Come on, at least half of y'all were supposed to stay with me. In other words, they are individuals prepared to murder at any time. Is there a reason I should protect those potential murderers? That's... that's nonsense. People who won't follow your rules are murderers? Jesus, yeah, he's definitely going on like a total power trip. That's nothing more than dictatorship. I feel like... I don't know, it's kind of like... He's a cop, so... 
he is like in a position of power so he's probably just like used to abusing that position of power he's like if i can't if i can't if you guys aren't gonna follow me perfectly then fuck off that's kind of what it is so far hey yuki dictatorship isn't that bad all right i never said i'd force you to do anything extreme in fact all this is for your own good as long as you choose to remain here i will do my best to ensure your safety i'm doing this just to prevent a conflict of opinion during emergencies by centralizing authority to one person beforehand and it has to be me baby you're free to state your opinion but on the other hand in emergencies only mine will take priority that's true none of us would be good enough at dealing with crisis with crises as kinjo does <laughs> All of us dumb. So what? Can the few people who won't follow you just die then? You're leaving them to die. Is this something to get mad at? I guess he is giving him a choice, but it's still <laughs> it's still pretty messed up. I'm offering this with the expectation, with the expectation that all but a few of you will remain. I mean, I know Ray's about to <laughs> girl boss out of here. There shouldn't be a problem unless you're willing to murder, right? That's not the point. Right now, I'm questioning your humanity. I mean, like... I don't totally know, I guess, everything about him yet. But I assume it's gonna start out with like, my rules are no murdering. And then it's gonna be like, also no leaving past this time. Also no doing this, no doing that. Like, I feel like he's gonna go on a power trip, you know? Imagine Ray already left. She probably has, like, just kind of slipped out. She's like, eh, I'm sick of this shit. I know I'm not gonna join your stupid group, whatever. Humanity, it's already there, Tyra. <laughs> Majority over minority. This is common sense. Do you really think humanity or justice is all it takes to protect people? Oh, what? You are right. I want to protect everyone without forcing you under my command. But only if it were easy in practice. To protect someone is a difficult task. Let's all imagine for a second that you don't take my proposal. And suppose that someone gets murdered while everyone is cooperating like before. Seeing how we're like... How we're like after just Kyoka and Higa, I doubt we'll ever recover from another murder. But if I had to... If something like that were to happen, will you be responsible for everyone's safety? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Jesus. Akane didn't reply anymore. Not just that, Akane, not just Akane. No one could argue against him. Every single one of us was certain that Tsurugi won't listen to any form of argument we could muster. Jesus Christ. I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to, he does give me antagonist vibes, but I could see him dying this chapter as well because he's making such a stir. Hey, Mr. Police Officer, let me ask you one question. Are you not going to tell us what you have to say before you're done sorting us out? Of course. Why would I share information with people who refuse to cooperate? If that's the case, I'm getting my ass out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. Don't really blame you, Ray. <laughs> Don't really blame you. Good luck with that psycho cop. <laughs> I'm going to be on my own. I won't show my face to you guys and don't go talking with me again. Are you sure I won't stop you? Can I assume you agree to be treated as a potential murderer? Is he gonna like... I could... Well, I don't, he seems like pretty smart, but I could see also in the trial if like... If something happens where he is not murdered and um, he's not the murderer or whatever, he could try to like make it seem as whoever is like not on his side is already a suspect and the people on his side are not a suspect, if that makes sense. Like if Ray's the only one who's not on the team, he's just like, it's fucking Ray. But I don't know if that'll be the case. He does seem pretty smart, you know? So I don't know if I quite see him going as black and white, but uh, we'll see, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling. <laughs> well now, who knows? Goodbye. Wait, Ray, take me with you. Kenjo, are you okay with this? You're really doing this? I wonder if we'll take anybody after they, uh... Like, if somebody came, like, crawling back, like, if Ray was like, No, never mind, I changed my mind, I want to be in your group. He probably wouldn't. Is there anyone else who wants to get out? I'm warning you, this is your only chance. I won't allow you to change your mind later. Okay, yeah, so he does say it. Kenjo, Jesus Christ! Then I shall leave. No, Kenjo, no. We need you here to yesify him. That's the only cure. Mr. Uhar, why are you leaving? That guy's fucking psycho. Have you seen his sprites? I always act in the way I believe is right. That is my only reason. Yeah, goodbye. We know Kenji's a girl boss too. Oh 
no, we're becoming divided. This shouldn't be happening. Anyone else? Make your decision quick. Jesus. Stop this right now. This is... Isn't this enough? Um... Me. Yeah, I kind of saw her leaving. Kazuna Tamori, you too. I feel like it is going to be kind of like half. We, we all leave with the yes man. <laughs> As we should. Uh, okay. Tomo, Kazuna Chan, please don't. Um, I really don't trust that guy. I'm always hated. Swarmed in a large group. And it's not like I'm close to any of you. That's not true. We can start building our friendship from now on. <laughs> Fuck that. Right, Tamori, you're a pretty girl, so... You're welcome anytime! <laughs> Ken Kenjo's gonna be like, not, not on my watch, you choose now, bitch. Shut up, just who do you think I am? I'm Kazuna Tamori, I'm on a whole different level than any of you. I know what you all think of me inside, a stupid bitch, a fucking slut stringing guys along. I know it! Oh man, she's got a lot of uh, insecurity issues. Wait, Kazuna-chan! I think what Ray said to her probably really got to her. Oh, Mitch is here! Oh, yay! <laughs> Mitch is back! The ghost of Mitch. Unbelievable. I didn't expect this many people to proclaim themselves a criminal. There is no need to do this, Sarugi. No, this had to be done. I can't handle that many people alone. Anyways, ten people remaining. Seems just about the right number. Insane! You're insane! I don't care whatever you say. If this is the only path I can take to protect you, I promise to repay your trust by keeping you absolutely safe. Kind of like, uh, it reminds me of Kamida a little bit with, like, the self-sacrifice thing. I don't care if you guys hate me. I'll do whatever I need to for, you know, to save you guys. Wise choice, everyone. I will not let you guys die, no matter what. Oh, man. He is so creepy. Although the face Rugi made was a bright smile, it, it was kind of fucking scary. What it showed was not the emotion of joy, but the ugliness of a human being. Chapter 2. The natural balance between dreams and bonds. Go forth with the best dreams you believe in. Dreams, dreams. It is kind of hard to tell if he's going to last past this chapter or not so far. I don't know. I kind of feel like... It's like, is he really going to be around this long? Kind of like separating us? I feel like regardless, uh, Yasurugi is going to play a big role in this chapter. I'm not totally sure if he'll die. He definitely won't be a killer, I don't think. Because that just seems like too... I don't know. I guess like too out of character maybe. But also like too obvious in a way too. Since he's so freaking creepy. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Only ten of us remained after Makaro, Uahara, and Tamori left the dining hall. Although discontentment and distrust against Kino Kinjo were at their peak, we had to follow his words from now on, as he had the most information and knowledge and knowledge than anyone about our situation. So what is it? What are we what are, what are you going to show us? Yes, you see. The stairs to the second floor are now open. Oh yeah, we can actually uh explore the uh new floor now. The second floor of what place? The stairway and the dormitory is still blocked, but the fence blocking the stairway near the classrooms have disappeared. You didn't think the others w would notice that too, Kenjo? I discovered it while investigating early in the morning. The fence disappeared? What is happening? Not only that, the bathroom, the bathhouse door in front of the dining hall was unlocked as well. Okay, cool. Bathhouse, you mean the one next to the laundry room? I bet some more people are going to drop out of this group later in this chapter too. Yeah, I don't know why this happened, but isn't this a good opportunity? How about we all investigate these locations when we're able to? They might become unaccessible anytime. Since we haven't found any clues on the first floor, the second floor may have some. And now it's not. But I cannot stop thinking this is suspicious. Well, not, you know, not any clues to escape. I agree with, I agree with Ayame. Don't you think it might be Monokuma's trap? Not that it makes it any less interesting. I think the same way. We need to be careful. Uh, how could you? These cowards! Oh, he's back! Really, Taria? How many times are you going to be surprised by the same thing? It's just the killer robot bear, dude. Stop, stop being so surprised. Monokuma, how dare you show your face before us? Ah, oh, don't be so mad. I didn't come to pick a fight today. Actually, I'm here to help you! Don't get so personal! I, I like you, Sarugi! You make this shit interesting! 
What do you mean help us? I'm surprised that Akane actually stuck in the group. I think she'll probably leave by the end of this chapter. Because she, um, uh, she's very outspoken, you know what I mean? You killed two of our friends! Huh? Killed? I don't know what you're talking about! Headmaster Monokuma never did such a thing! Kyoko was murdered by Mitsuhiro! Shudder! You led Mitsuhiro into it! Also, the blood from his death is still in your hands from his execution. Oh, let me get a little towel. We'll wipe that off. <laughs> what are you talking about? I never did that. Hey, that's not murder. It's a rightful punishment for a murderer. Don't you agree, Kenjo? Using the same logic, you could call everyone conducting capital punishment. Would you call everyone conducting capital... Capital... Ah, ca oh my god, I can't speak. Capital... Capital... <laughs> can I say it? Capital punishment's a murderer. That's irrelevant. It's a completely different scenario. Hi, is that so? My pal Sarugi approved what I said yesterday. Sarugi, can you say something? S Sarugi, eh, my biffle? Shut up, rotten criminal. That's what it's like. I don't really get it. It's like, I feel like he's going to be one of those guys where he's like, like Yagami, where he's like, it's shit when other people kill people. But when I do it, it's okay. You know, I... I just feel like I, I get that. <laughs> I get that vibe from him. I might share your ideology, but I never approved of your actions. You're no more than a murderer. I feel like I could see Sarugi doing stuff to where he doesn't like kill anybody per se, but he like maybe um, leads people to die or like leads people into situations where he's like, it wasn't technically me, guy. It's kind of like, you know, the stuff that like Kokichi, kind of like, yeah, the thing that Kokichi did with like Ganta, you know? Oh, really? What a shame. Um, it looks like some of you are missing. Are they off to a bathroom trip? Hey, dummy bear. No one likes you here, so just get to the point and go away. I had some good news for once, but now I don't want to say anything anymore. Sad bear. Sad bear. But I'm not going to falter just yet. I want to come to bullies. Yep, I'm, I'm going to totally forget about your rude behavior and tell you the good news. I've heard to say this before, but you have a reward for successfully completing the class trial. Since you people did an impressive job of finding the culprit yesterday, it was mostly Yuki. I opened the second floor of the school and the bathhouse and the bathhouse as a prize. <laughs> yeah, we kind of figured that out. What do you think? Is it Headmaster Monokuma just the greatest mentor you've ever had? <laughs> we already knew about it. <laughs> huh? It's a critical hit. The bear finished the last place. <laughs> uh, I'm the last one to tell you guys this. R really? Exactly what Tsurugi said. Word by word. Well, I kind of felt bad to see him talk so proudly about it. <laughs> um, I'm going to go cry. <laughs> Even with the camera. So you must have some real bad hearing. <laughs> stupid, 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 stupid. <laughs> stupid, idiot, pregnant male seahorse. <laughs> Pregnant male seahorse. All right, I forgot about this. <laughs> Remember the nameplates in the dormitories? I made it easier to identify the owner of each room by sticking drawings of you next to your nameplates. It wouldn't be fun to see the same trick play take place again. You guys need to be original with your murder schemes. Enough already. Go back to your hole, criminal scum. Aw, <laughs> sad Monokuma. You are all idiots, stupid idiot seahorses, male pregnant. <laughs> okay, okay, let's just let him get it out. He must be quite embarrassed. <laughs> I was hoping for some legit good news. Guess I shouldn't have expected that for Monokuma. Poor Monokuma, he just wanted to deliver the good news. <laughs> that explains why new paths have opened up suddenly, though. From what he said, it appears that the new areas aren't traps to lure us in. I think we can investigate without fear. So the strange drawings at the dormitory were Monokuma's doing. Okay. I kind of didn't really expect them to explain that, actually. <laughs> I thought it was just kind of an upgrade, you know? Um, hum. It would certainly make it easier to find our rooms. We won't need to check the nameplates anymore. No one seemed to care about them, so I didn't mention anything as well. <laughs> so are we all investigating the newly unlocked areas? Yeah, that'll be our plan for now. We can investigate individually, then come back here sometime later. Then we'll share our findings. I sure hope we find something good this time around. Kenjo, what about Makaru, Ihara, and Tamori? What do we do if we meet them? <laughs> Fucking kill them. I mean, uh, let them be on their own. They chose to resist my authority. Do not approach them. Jesus. Uh, yes, treat me like Jesus, Yuki. <laughs> that is basically what I want. Think of them as a loose cannon. We can't act together with dangerous individuals. But... 
Yuki. Looking straight in my eyes, Yame gently shook her head. Let's follow Surugi's orders for now. He is the best person here to manage our situations, even if he is fucking psycho. Uh, she's right, maida -kun. We can talk about it later. Right now, we need to begin the search. Kinjo, I have one question. Just answer me this, please. What is it? If we find a way to escape from here, then will you escape without telling those three about it? Oh, God. If we could escape from here, huh? If it were really a perfect opportunity to escape, I'll take them with our group. Okay. I didn't actually think he would say that. After all, I would want to save everyone here under best circumstances. Remember what you said. It's a promise. Uh, I might go back on it. <laughs> Damn it. Though Sarugi didn't reply, he gave off a semblance of a smile I could trust. Now let's get moving. It's currently 9 a.m., so we will rendezvous again at midday. I'll give out more information when we gather when we gather again. <laughs> Thank you, Naoki Mori. Remember, for 11 months, gotta love Monokuma! Oh, poor little Monokuma embarrassing himself, telling us shit we already know. Yes, sir! Well, I guess complaining won't get us anywhere. Alright, it's a new day. It's a new life. I'm feeling good. Let's go. Um, oh yeah, Mikaku still hasn't said, like, anything. This is the best for now. I tried my best. Uttering these words over and over in my mind, I selfishly consoled myself. What's already happened cannot be reversed, but there's one thing I won't give up on, regardless of what Kenjo thinks. I will stop interacting- I will not stop interacting with those three who left our group. As long as we can- Is he gonna get, like, pissed off if we talk to them? <laughs> like, how dare you get yassified by Kenji? Damn it! No, get over here, Yuki! As long as we continue to speak to each other, there will always be a possibility of mutual co cooperation between us. It isn't too late to give up on them. Various threads of thought whirled around in my mind, but for now I have to prioritize the investigation. Everything will resolve itself as soon as we can escape from here. That's totally gonna... I feel like right now he's just like, oh yeah, just follow... Well, I guess he's kind of being like vague about it. Like, just follow my orders and everything will be just fine. <laughs> you can be a part of my group. We have one rule here at Tsurugi's uh, kingdom. Follow everything I say and don't question anything. That's it. The new areas that opened up were the second floor in the bathhouse. Let's move. Do you, do you... I think the bathhouse is right here, right? Oh, cool. This is the bathhouse... It's like a public bathroom. Let's investigate it. Bunch of lockers and stuff. Okay, Kazuna. <laughs> what? Hey, Tamori. I wanted to see if you were okay. If I was okay? Why? Because of Kenjo, you know, being all psycho and shit. Uh, Yukon, do you, did you care about that? You're nice, but don't worry, because you have nothing to worry about. More than that, this public bathroom was originally locked, but when did it open? Why did Monokuma wait to open this? Not really sure, honestly. It's like, did he wait to open the bathhouse in the first game? I feel like it might have just been like on the second floor or something, if I remember correctly. Uh, that's because of Monokuma. He said that he would open up a new place every time the class trial was finished. How could you get expose that confidential information? Just see like <laughs> Sarugi behind like a, a trash can. Damn it. I'm spying on you guys. Um, hey, Tamori, don't you want to cooperate together with everyone even now? Kinjo seems to be trying to separate the others, but I don't like that. It's okay. I like you kind because you're so kind, but the rest of them, I don't want to see them. That and I can't get along with them anymore. I think she does seem to actually like us. It's like she really doesn't like anybody else. Why is that? If we become together, surely... You're being annoying. I've already decided I can't back down all my words. She's definitely been like backstabbed a lot or something. But it's not the right attitude either. Ah, uh, Tamori, come on. Maida kun, this is it looks like a bathhouse. Well, that's because it's a large communal bath. This is quite the situation, but I like this one. In the private rooms, I only had a basic bath. Right? No, I don't think so. Even if I said that, I take a bath satisfactory enough with the shower room facilities. Um, there doesn't seem to be no distinction between men and women here. <laughs> oh my god. You mean like a mixed bath? <laughs> what? No, no, 
it's still too early. It's still a hundred thousand times too early to see each other's naked bodies. <laughs> what, the, what, what is going on with you? Tyra, calm down first. You're getting too paranoid. Monokuma's was going to pop up with the machine guns. <laughs> I told you. No, no smooching. Oh, uh, sorry, Maida-kun. I'm just a little scared when it comes to this kind of situation. Anyways, I think the large communal bath is really good. Yeah, it's perfect to build a bond in this place. It would be okay if everyone took a bath together. <laughs> um, together? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about the girls. What are you thinking, Maida-kun? Uh, that was it, of course. I, I never thought, never thought of anything weird. And I would never do that. I see. Why is it so hot in here? It's like the steam is filling up this area. Well then, I'll bring in the girls later. But are you going to call? Are we getting like a man's nut thing in this one? <laughs> Where we do that, that whole like weird <laughs> horny scene that they always have in all the Danganronpa games. But are you going to call all of them? Even Tamori and Makaru? That's right. No matter how much distance is between us, I just can't keep things this way. Oh my god. Kenjo's gonna get so pissed off. He's gonna get so mad at all of us, like, talking with the, the outsiders. So, so, Maida-kun, have you, you have to get out quickly. How long are you gonna be here? Uh, uh, okay, okay. I'm gonna call the girls. Uh, bathing together, stars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, the girls are bathing together. Need to go to the mono, mono machine and get the man's nut, I guess. I heard it. Koba Shikawa? Uh, heard what? Uh, of course, it's about the bath. She said all oh, the girls are taking a bath together. I can't miss this chance. Uh, um, <laughs> how about it, Maida? It seems like you and I are the only men around who oh, want to do it. Uh, how are we? Oh, what? Want to hide the lockers, bro? What is it? It's the bathtub. If you're a, if you're pretends, pre pretends you don't know, don't fake it. Or pretending. This guy, it's stupid, but also, I want to do it. All of the girls, of course, Tyra and Tamori, Inori, who has a clear infant body, infant body type, and Makara Kurakama, kind of model level height, right? If you miss a chance, you're not even a man. Isn't that right? Come on, Yuki, man up. Well, it's a bit sad not to be able to see Maki anymore, but I don't know if that's really the, the right time to bring this up. Certainly, if you're not interested in girls, that would be a lie. I mean, it's a girl taking a bath. I definitely want to see that once. But would that be okay? But would that be okay, even if the others are there? I don't like the thought of ending up caught by Makaru or Tamori. I might create another class trial again. <laughs> oh my god. What should I do? I got it. Then let's hide in the locker room. <laughs> okay, it's like, do I get to choose? <laughs> oh, you're gonna do it, Maida? I believed you would do it too. Now let's get on with it quickly. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. We're we gonna share a locker. <laughs> How long was I waiting, holding my breath inside? And finally, I heard the voices of the girls. <laughs> We're all taking a bath. We're all taking a bath together, guys. <laughs> it was Akane who came up with this. Oh yeah. He <laughs> it was Akane who came up with this idea after all. Why the hell did you guys bring me here? I hate everyone. I said I didn't want to see your face. Um, Miss Makaru, don't do that. Why don't we just take a bath anyways? If we're already here, let's do it together. What are you? Why are you all dragging me all the way over here? Hey, clown, get, let go already. <laughs> You're so noisy. No one can stop the mighty Sasuke today because of the assignment of group bathing. <laughs> Makako, uh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> She's like, hey, guys, I think I see some guys in the locker. <laughs> I hope we get caught. Everyone seems to have entered. All right, Maida. L go left. I'll go right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We're totally gonna get caught, aren't we? I could do this. It's terrible, but it's also necessary to have this kind of dream in your heart. <laughs> Is it? Oh my god, what excuse am I making? It's just curiosity. I have curiosity. The curiosity of what girls' bodies look like. <laughs> Freaking pervert. Ooh, let's go! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, holy crap! <laughs> Oh my god, it really is the bathtub scene. <laughs> what the hell? Wow, <laughs> Hatano's chest are way above. 
If I'm gonna get Clumpy to get like a YouTube strike for this, <laughs> hopefully not. Oh god. <laughs> YouTube bot. I smell boobies! Why is that, Urinabi? Uh, Ugh, why am I with these guys? Uh, cause you know, Ugh, why, oh, Ugh, why am I with these guys? Well, it's just, well, it's gonna take a bath, but <laughs> uh, this is way better than a regular bath, right? Uh, and Makako in the background. I still have to see the guys staring at us. Uh, <laughs> I was like, Kanata. Oh, yeah, it's the doctor. Miss Makaru, now I see that you're very tall. Not just tall, but large, too. Shut it, you're just unusually small. <laughs> Hanging out with you people again. I have to get this done quickly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fan service! I didn't expect a fan service scene in this game. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even have to get the man's nut for that. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like Makako was out to us. He's like, no, I'm gonna stay fully dressed. Hey, Akane, you, you see anything weird? Oh, oh it's back in Korean. Uh-oh. Uh, hopefully it's just uh, these. It might just be that, yeah, this wasn't uh, translated. I saw you staring through the door. You fucking pervert, Yuki. That was awesome. <laughs> <There's a nosebleed. laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it burned into my eyes. <laughs> I'll keep it as a treasure for the rest of my life. <laughs> for the next chapter or two that I live for. Oh, that's kind of sad. You should wipe those nosebleeds. <laughs> it's, it's bleeding more. It's getting all over your shirt. All over your shirt, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where are we going next? The second floor, I think. I think it's this way. <laughs> oh, God. The nosebleed was so funny. <laughs> I like Haru, though. He's cute. Oh, hey, Taria. Maida, we can really go to the second floor. That's right, it would be nice to have some clues on the second floor. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Went the wrong way. Okay, my bad. Satsuki. Oh, up. Oh, I guess it's just a, just a trash can. Uh, I guess, yeah, not everything is uh, translated in this. That makes sense. Amazing! Somehow the second floor has a new atmosphere, so it's like an adventure! Satsuki is so excited! Being able to go into a new place is a plus, right? Let's investigate if there is any clues to escape. <laughs> I doubt it! Yeah! And <laughs> That's totally not gonna happen, Yuki. It's like the laundry area is up here, I guess. That's kind of what these look like. Oh! Hell yeah! <laughs> Monocoin! <laughs> hell yeah! That's all I really care about. I was thinking about that. I was like, I guess I'll just be uh, clicking on a lot of Korean text for a little bit. Trying to uh, get the monocoins. Because, yeah, I mean, it makes sense they wouldn't want to translate all of this. Like, there's a clock on the wall. Whoa, that's so awesome. <laughs> wow, a locker. Never seen that before. Oh, wait, come on. Come on, Kenji. Maida, I looked up and saw that the stairs to the second floor were open. So I went upstairs, but what happened? Ah, that's... Monokuma told us that every time we clear a class trial, a new place opens. I see. Uahara. Uahara, he said he does what he... He does what he thinks is right. However, I think it would be better if we cooperated together. Still, it doesn't look like he wants to talk more. I don't really blame him for not wanting to be with, uh... <laughs> uh, Teruya. Or not Teruya. God dang it. Sarugi. Sarugi. Uh, I miss you, Kenji. Please yasify him. Oh, wait, never mind, of course. Dead, it's the same room. Please yasify him back to his senses. You're our only hope. Our only hope. Oh, hey, Ray. Ugh. And don't talk to me. Hey, Makaru. What? Nothing. It's just you're here too. So I was like, hey, you want to talk? I kind of saw you naked earlier. Incompetent. Is there a reason why the second floor opened? <laughs> Is that my new name? Oh, I guess you didn't know because Makaru left the dining hall. Monokuma told us that after a class trial, a new place will open. Uh-huh. After that class trial, the second floor opened. So then, if there are more class trials in the future, there will be more places to go, right? It is kind of ironic that it's like more... The more people that die, the more, like... The more the space, like, gets larger, you know what I mean? I guess it makes it easier to, like, commit murders and stuff, too, since you have, like, more, um... You know, space between you and other people. Oh, come on, that won't happen. 
Who really is that so? I don't think this group of chaos led by such an officer will last long. Have you seen his evil sprites? Come on now. Don't be stupid, incompetent. Don't be stupid, stupid. That's your new nickname. By the way, incompetent, look at this room. Is she gonna give me a new nickname like every uh, every chapter? I could see, I feel like if um, Sarugi dies this chapter, she'll be like the antagonistic character. It's kind of interesting because they're both, um, you know, like she kind of reminds me of Tagami. Sarugi kind of reminds me more of like Kamida or um, Oma, you know? They both have very uh, antagonistic qualities. By the way, incompetent, look at this room. I can't even guess what this place is doing here. It is uh, interesting too, because I feel like they're both, you know, trying in their own way to fight against the killing game. It's just not um, the uh, way you would expect to do so. <laughs> I don't expect anything, but what do you think? It said power room, so wouldn't this make it something like electricity for the school, like a power plant? Somebody gonna make the lights go off at some point? You don't think I even know that. What I'm asking is why does the school have such a facility? No matter how high the power consumption is, there is a power plant that takes up the entire room like this. Does that seem normal to you? We need all the power for the killing game! Those executions are very high budget rate, come on! Well, it's a little strange, but isn't it special because it's Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> you're right! If you're that curious, you want to know? This is the place that generates and manages the energy of all the facilities of the school! It's a big freaking school, you know! Monokuma! The reason why there is such a large power room in the school is because I can't get supplies from the outside. No supply from the outside? <laughs> the whole world has gone to shit, Yuki. Did you see those videos I showed you guys? What do you mean by that, Hope Speak? Hope Speak Academy is built in the heart of Tokyo, but it can't get external energy. Uh Oopsie, that was a spoiler, teehee. <laughs> well, there's a reason for that. The electricity supply itself from the outside and the location. Oh, I, I shouldn't say this. Ooh. Anyways, if anything wrong happens to this room, the fluorescent light and the water will go out. So do be careful. What in the world are you talking about? I don't understand this. Does this sound like nonsense? This led me to another hypothesis. You found out something. What is it? Why should I tell you, idiot? Did I care about you guys? No, I kind of figured. It was like, of course, she's not gonna, <laughs> not gonna tell us. This discussion was merely by chance, so don't talk to me in the future. <laughs> Fuck off, loser. Okay, Ray, good talking to you too. I wish she could open her heart up a little bit more. Need to, need to get her to trauma dump on me later. This is. There's a computer here. Hopefully. If this has internet, we can know the current situation and request a rescue. <laughs> you think I'd leave that here for you? God, how stupid do you think I am, Yuki? I pressed the button on the computer with a bloated heart. <laughs> bloated heart. <laughs> Damn it, it's broken. It only has that space pinball game on it. Damn it. Hey, I gave you something fun to do on the killing game, okay? That was nice of me. Damn it, it's broken. It doesn't even turn on, let alone the internet. Yeah, <laughs> come on, Yuki. You really thought he'd leave that there? And no, I forgot about the internet. <laughs> if only. <laughs> and I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids and the internet. Kurokawa, how's the investigation going? Um, I'm kind of surprised she didn't leave the group, too. Um, um, here. Oh, here, the power room. Uh, oh, you're so cute. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Da, 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 da. I don't think she's gonna say anything else. <laughs> How's it going? Here. <laughs> I've just been in here hiding. Huh? I can't see anything. Oh, the lights are out. What is this room? Uh, Rar, be careful there, Maida Coon. <laughs> Do you know that Rar means I love you in dinosaur? <laughs> see if I also remember those shirts. Whoa! What's Monokuma? What Monokuma's voice? What is this place? This room is called Control Room, and it is the most important room that controls all devices in the Power Room. Actually, the lighting in here is totally busted. This was never meant to happen. Oh, fortunately, its function is working properly. I can't, I can't fix the lighting currently. Please forgive me for this. This is definitely gonna play into the, uh, into the uh, trial at some point, huh? I feel like it at least. What's that? Anyways, don't come here. It's dark and dangerous. If you touch the wrong machine, you'll completely destroy it. Got it. Okay. 
I feel like you could see somebody like accidentally turning off the lights in the whole school from this room since it's so dark. I didn't even want to come in here anyways. Wonder if uh kinda wonder if anything is gonna be translated in here though. I feel like this room's important, right? Probably. It's all in Korean. Oh! At least I got a monocoin, baby! Dewey dies within 24 hours, one half of each married couple will die. <laughs> what? <laughs> I see a lot of shipping in chat. <laughs> what are y'all doing in chat? <laughs> y'all are wild. Okay. Um, can I go where Ray went to? I just walked into the world wall. Leave me alone. Hey, Makario. Hey, I know you hate me and stuff. <laughs> but can we talk? Not Makario. I'm being ignored. This is so sad. I wonder if she'll make a team. She definitely, you know, comes off as being like, you know, super mean and stuff. Hell yeah. Another monocoin. But, um, I think she knows she, she's probably more trustworthy than, uh, Sarugi, honestly. <laughs> that man's wild. Oh, Mida, you've come here. Oh, hey, you probably like this area, right? Yeah, wow, I didn't know there was a training room. Isn't she like a runner or something? Right, I was so surprised too. Haha, <laughs> this is amazing. Hatano, did you find something fun? Oh, did it look like that? I'm sorry, it isn't a pleasant situation. It's nice to be able to train again, so I stopped thinking for a moment. Aw, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, that's right, because Hatano isn't an athlete. Yeah, so far I've been running around the hallway to practice, but there's a treadmill here. And there's no need to do that anymore. And don't we all also have a punching bag and dumbbells? I can get my anger out! I am an athlete, but upper body training is also very important, so I'm looking forward to working on the future. What is it, Maida? That e expression. Oh dear, I just went ahead of myself again. Aw. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm telling you useless things. I wish I was this excited about working out. Huh, no, I don't think that. I just feel better because Hatano talks about... Because Hatano is talking about something she really likes. Really? Maida, do you mind tra do you mind training too? <laughs> Uh, no, maybe, maybe not that much. <laughs> I see, well, tell me any time. It would be nice if we could exercise together. Let's find someone we can work out with. I think Yamaguchi would be interested. Oh yeah, that's, uh, Kakaru, I think. Sincerely, sincerely finding what you like and strive steadily. I think it's a real good thing to be able to do that. Can I have such a thing too? Yeah, okay, let's look for some monocoins. Monocoin, oh, that's cool. You can actually punch it. <laughs> nice. Where are the monocoins? Come on. I guess I already have like 150, but still, I need more. More! I could never have enough. Man, this one's kind of taking a while to get. There's dumbbells here. I tried to lift them for a minute, but it was heavier than I thought, so I put them down. Huh, there's something here. Yay! Here we go! You've obtained one Monokuma coin! Hell yeah! Nice. Anything for the Monocoins. Anything. Even though I can really only hang out with like one person. <laughs> I need as many possible, or you know, chances I can get to give them a gift that they'll like. Maida! Yamaguchi, did you find anything? Well, I was going to every classroom and checking the windows, but... The same goes for the second floor then. Yeah, it's all iron plates. There are no gaps at all. Okay. Just looking at all the windows and stuff. Doo -doo -doo. I wish I knew even a little bit of Korean. <laughs> so we kind of have an idea of what's going on. But I unfortunately don't know anything. Oh, whoa. I guess like the library? Oh, cool. It's like, who would like the library? Maida, so you came to the library. Yeah, the library still has a school atmosphere. School atmosphere? I don't think so. What? Why? Isn't it an ordinary library? No, this library is strange. Oh. Don't you feel it? Um, it's strange? How so? You didn't notice? Well, it doesn't matter. It's not clear yet. What? 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 Now I have more questions! <laughs> Is it because there's a porno magazine section? I already got one of those, don't worry. What is this? There's some kind of papers in the desk. 
Ah, Dusty. I decided to brush off the pile of dust and read what was written on the papers. Let's see. Hope Speak Academy. The Secretariat... The... S Secretariat. <laughs> the... Se is it really Secretariat? Secretariat informs you. Mana, what's that? Well, it's this. It was laid here. I was just thinking of the Bojack. <laughs> the character in Bojack. I was like... I, don't th I think it was just like the name of a horse in that show. <laughs> Mana, to read it out loud. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see. Notice from the Secretariat of Hope Speak Academy has been working hard has been working hard on the development of talented people who will be successful in the world for a long time. In the long history, the school is an authentic education institute with special government accreditation. accreditation. Our school has produced a large number of students in society and is active in all walks of life. <laughs> what, do, what would happen if we made them kill each other? Let's try that out. Oh, guys, I think we figured out why the killing game's happening. <laughs> But this time, our Hope Speak Academy is about to end its glorious history. It was a painful and difficult decision, but it could not be delayed. Oh. Any longer due to serious circumstances. Oh, so it was going to be canceled. However, Hope Speak Academy does not end here. In the near future, we plan to rectify the problems and resume our activities at once. Lastly, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all those involved for their support and cooperation over a long period of time. In addition, we inform you that the abolition of Hope Speak Academy will be cared, carried out with the approval of the relevant government agency. Huh. And this is the end. That was... What does that mean? Hope Speak Academy closed? Weren't we new students who entered Hope Speak Academy just a few days ago? That's what I was thinking. It was like... How were we like kidnapped and they closed afterwards? And they like erased our memories, so that's why we don't know how much time has passed. Because I mean, it would make sense for it to be after we were accepted, you know. There are two possibilities one, this is Monokuma's prank, the other one is that Hope Speak Academy really that Hope Speak Academy really was ruined. That doesn't really make sense. Maybe it's just Mr. Monokuma's prank, right? <laughs> how dare you! Let's put that aside for now and continue the investigation. Um, okay. Pretty weird. But still, what in the world is this? Hmm. It seems the time has slowly come. Let's go back to the dining hall and talk about our research. With the group. With uh, Sarugi's group. Not the outsiders. That is interesting, though. I'm trying to think. It did seem like the world had gone to shit, though, based off of, like, the, uh... You know, like, uh, motives we got last chapter. I guess we really only saw, like, um, you know, ours. And we heard about Mitch's. But it seemed like the world had probably gone to shit, you know? Or at least somebody very powerful is in charge of this killing game. If they were able to, like, get rid of the NFL and all that stuff that Mitch was talking about. But, um, I guess it's probably similar to the canon games. Where, like, Hope's Academy was, like, I don't know what started the end of the world or something like that. But we'll see. Is everyone here? I wonder if the mastermind in this one will be similar to Junko, you know? How was the investigation? I went to the bathhouse. The bathing facilities are perfect, beyond comparison to our shower rooms. Which is why the girls all had a bath together. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Me and Haru. <laughs> oh, we remember that part vividly. Oh, what bath? Is that why y'all smell flowery? Bloody hell, dag nabbit. Only I had known a pretty whammon. Uh, whammon. <laughs> Only I had a known pretty whammon were having a good clean earlier. <laughs> Did you just say whammon? If you had known what, are you thinking on, of peeping on us bathing? Uh, nah, nah, I ain't stinking a stinking pervert. Trust me, all right. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> the bloody nose again. <laughs> yeah, me too. I would never do that for sure. <laughs> Kobashikawa, you have a nosebleed. Are you okay? <laughs> huh? What the? What the heck? <laughs> nosebleed at this kind of timing. Hariko, were you? Uh, uh, what are you accusing me for? O or what? I didn't do anything. It's just because, uh, because I've been tired lately, right, Yuki? <laughs> I think, like, at me and I also have like a nosebleed. Totally. <laughs> what? Wh what are you asking me for? Ahem, uh -huh. so very suspicious. Can't we get serious for once? 
<laughs> no more fan service. Come on, guys. Gossiping can be done later, guys. Yeah, we were investigating. Speaking of investigations, I checked each and every window in the classrooms. But like before, metal plates were blocking them all. Damn it. I looked around the library. There was nothing of interest apart from one thing. Mr. Mina and Mr. Kinjo, you know what I'm referring to. All right, we have to talk about that thing. Yeah, I can maybe get some more perspectives on it, you know, from the rest of the group. Then again, I mean, it does kind of seem like, uh, cancel Haru. <laughs> you guys are canceling him. <laughs> In the chat. <laughs> I love the nose bleed sprite, though. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, it'll be interesting to get some more perspectives, although I do think Surugi is probably, like, one of the smartest ones. And then the other smart people, like Ray and um, Kenji, are not here. What the heck are you talking about? You see, there is a paper placed on a desk at the library, but the paper mentioned some strange things in it. Strange things? Yep, in short, it said that Hope's Peak Academy has closed down. What? Hope's Peak closed down? What are you talking about? Even though all of us here are current and speak students? I have no clue what's going on behind the scenes either. This may be just another one of Mr. Monokuma's pranks. It probably is like Dr. Ruffle 1 and 2 or like we went to Hope's Peak, but then our just memories of being there got erased eventually or something. However, we cannot eliminate the possibility of the informa information being genuine. It may be related to why we are the only ones at the school. I wonder if we'll find like school pictures and stuff, you know? Are you implying the closure of Hope's Peak Academy and the reason Monokuma kidnapped? Everyone is related in some way? Obviously. Hold up a sec, that can't be right. Didn't we enter the school just before we fainted? Yeah, so, well, so they entered the school, then they fainted. I'm like, hmm, <laughs> hmm, let me overthink this. It's like, could it be, well, nah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not gonna overthink it. I was just trying to think if like, they entered the school, then they, you know, got knocked out. Hope Speak Academy eventually closed because of, you know, it had to do with their kidnapping and stuff. And then they got sent back here or something along those lines. I don't know if that really... Basically, I was just thinking of the time, um, the time jump happened, like, in between, like, uh, we entered the school and we woke up again, basically. We've only been at the school for less than a week, but the school somehow closed during that time? We've definitely been here longer. I guess if that's the case, then we probably were never, like, students, you know? Yeah, there is nothing to suggest the school was in the, on the verge of closing. Are we missing something here? I cannot make definitive conclu conclusions yet, but the paper was definitely from the school's executive office. The seal and the signatures were authentic. What is going on? Well, we shouldn't concern ourselves with matters unrelated to our escape. I didn't really get a chance to look at the library too well, since uh, Kinjo was saying it was like, you know, sketchy or whatever. We cannot figure out the mystery for now anyways. Let's continue discussing our investigation, shall we? Right. <laughs> we just see like Ray coming to the door. I came in to get a muffin. <laughs> I'm totally not peeping on your conversation. All right, as well as the library, there was also a training room on the second floor. Trading room? You can exchange rooms? <laughs> that would be a trading room. Oh my god. Treadmill, I'm gonna just ignore that. Treadmill, dumbbell, sandbag, everything we need is there. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of potential weapons, isn't it? The shelf there even contained energy drinks and protein powder. Uh, I remember protein powder or, you know, like the poison drink in uh, chapter four. Hmm, could that somehow take place again? Would anyone be interested in exercising together? <laughs> oh, exercise is good. Is it okay if I join? Yeah, Kakaru. Uh, I, I, Ayame? Oh, oh he's, so, he's so shy when he's not in lawyer mode. <laughs> I know I still say that weird, but I can't help it. Sounds good, but why are you stuttering and scrunching your face all of a sudden? Kakaru gets embarrassed from calling girls their names. Isn't that cute? Aww. Oh, <laughs> he's so adorable. Holy mackerel! Kakaru's pissed! Gasp, sorry, I didn't mean to make fun of you. Please don't get angry at me. <laughs> angry? I'm not angry. Look at me. Can't can you see I'm smiling? It, it kind of looks scary, though. <laughs> you look super angry, though. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down. Don't fight. I'm not angry. I was just beating myself up over being an embarrassment. 
Let's get back to our discussion. You can do that later. God, no growing your characters right now. Right, sorry. Ayame, let's go exercise together later. I may not seem like the type, but I love vigorously moving my body up and down. Oh my god. I should have known Haru was going to say something right afterwards. Vigorously moving your body up and down. <laughs> All right. He's got a nosebleed again. It's just going to pass out from loss of blood. Are you having obscene thoughts in the open now, Kobashikawa? What were you thinking, Kobashikawa-kun? Is it because of what I said? Your nose is bleeding again. Power room. Huh? No more fan service. There is a power room. Da, 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 da. A power room? What kind of place is it? Uh, that is it. Um, I'll take over from here. The power room is an incredibly huge room full of unusual machines. Power room, does that mean it is for producing electricity? I believe so. Monokuma popped up and told us that the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy's electricity is produced at the power room. Produced. How is it possible that a single large room produces enough energy to power the entire school? <laughs> Magic! Not to mention the school apparently being self-sufficient without external aid. Makari said the same thing. Yeah, the world's totally, totally ended. Monokuma told us that the school cannot receive external energy supplies from outside. What is he talking about? Hope's Peak is at the center of Tokyo, and yet the school cannot receive energy, energy supply from external, external sources. Surugi had the exact same reaction as Makaru did. Very similar, these two. I wish I had more to say, but Monokuma shut up after going on a tangent about the external le electrical system itself. Makaru claims to have a new theory about the school, but, of course, she didn't explain what she meant by it. Makaru is a mean person, but she's smart. External energy supplies into the school is impossible, huh? The, electri the electrical system itself is. I see. That may be a possibility if our situation is associated with... Uh, what the heck are you mumbling about, Kinjo? It's nothing. <laughs> it's only a theory for now. A game theory. Was that everything we got out of the power room? You're not gonna tell us, bro. Come on, we're on your team. We, you know, <laughs> saluted our loyalty to you. Control room. What? It's dark, pitch black, without a single ray of light to be found. Like you? Ah, dude, come on now. Aw, that, that's mean. Kobashikawa kun, why are you bad mouthing Makako chan? I was just telling the truth. Come on, dude, that's mean. Freaking rude. Uh, I'll take over again. I've been to the control room as well. Aw, oh, poor Makako. I like you. Just as Makako described, the room is extremely dark to the point that you can't see anything. There is a small lamp, but Monokuma said it's broken. The room shape and the lack of windows amplify the darkness even more. Such extreme levels of darkness might be a health hazard. Yep, since it's so dark, we should probably be careful in that room. After all, apparently that room houses all the switches to the power room. One false step and the whole school's power might become compromised. That's scary, swear to me, y'all. Swear to me, y'all, not to be cheeky and enter the room. To <laughs> it's totally where the next murder is going to happen. If we can't see anything, it will be hard to investigate the room properly. Yeah, I could only barely explore a fraction of the room. If only we had a flashlight or something. At the very least, I don't think the room has anything special in it, though. Hum, all right. The library, the power room, the training room, and the control room. Is that all for the second floor? Yes, sir. Patrol Satsuki has inspected the hallway. What do you... What do you even need to patrol the hallway? Apart from two classrooms, the second floor is similar to the first floor. Windows are all blocked by metal plates and nothing to help us escape. Ugh, in conclusion, all we have found out thus far is Hope's Peak is alleged closure and how the school generates the energy entirely self-sufficiently. Wait, it may not be a clue to help our escape, but can I talk about it? Please, go on. Hmm. I visited the girls' bathroom after having a bath at the bathhouse, but then... Kyoka, the rope, the blood marks, and the rubber ball fluid. They were all gone. I, why'd you go to the bathroom? <laughs> why'd you go to that bathroom? I gotta pee. I'll get over it. <laughs> Move out of the way, Kyoka. <laughs> I gotta take a piss break. The hell? Anyone's anyone's a secretly employed cleaner? Anyone? Anybody a secretly employed cleaner around here? 
Probably not. None of the boys can enter the girls' bathroom because of the sensor. Girls were all likely occupied by the investigation as well. Then the cleaner can only be... Monokuma! Monokuma again. That's right! It's a messy job, too! Yep, it was me! We can't have a grotesque corpse lying around when we're supposed to be having a harmonious school life! I will be complaining... I will be cleaning all crime scenes post-trial from now on! <laughs> oh, that's so nice of you, Monokuma. The teddy bear's intervals are becoming more and more shorter now. We have done everything we could. That wraps up our initial investigation. What are we gonna do now? We might as well expand our investigation range since new areas have opened up. Clues we missed out earlier may reveal themselves as long as we continue to investigate. Okay, so just as before. Time to disband then? Split up, gang. Nothing ever happens. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens when that happens. Hold on, I have something to ask Kenjo. What now? Makaru, Uyaharakun, and Kazuna-chan, are you really going to leave them behind? Didn't I tell you already? I'm tired of saying the same thing over and over again. I didn't force them out. I gave them a choice. Leaving us was their own decision. It, I just sacrificed the major, minority for the majority. And I'm sure those who left us can manage perfectly fine on their own without killing each other. Mm. If you have an issue with my way, Akane, you're free to leave too. But know this before you do. I'm only doing this to protect everyone who stayed. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> shit! Oh my god, she might actually leave. I might be an idiot and incapable of protecting anyone like you can. But who cares about the majority or the minority? We're all human beings! Just because some prefer their own company, they're still our classmates. How can you give up on them so easily? Shit, tell him! Scum, you're the worst! Holy crap, oh my god. <laughs> Akane's outburst silenced us all, even Sarugi. I mean, go off, queen! I don't know what to say. But only for a moment. Oh, is he gonna be pissed? Uh, I don't blame you for thinking that way. The very fact that we are facing this type of dilemma is abnormal on its own. Akane, do you really think I like gambling with human lives? I don't enjoy having to do this, but trust me, Akane. You have no idea how many times I have had to deal with dire situations that sometimes require me to make tough decisions. Although I can respect our differences in morals at present, I simply cannot think of a better course of action than my plan. Aww. Like I have said before, you are free to leave if you don't like what I'm doing. I won't stop you. Enough, all of you! This is no time to be bickering among ourselves. Mr. Miss Hatano is right. This is exactly what Mr. Monokuma wants. We're all playing right into his hands by fighting each other. I understand you're worried about those three who have gone their own ways. But I am afraid I cannot protect everyone. It's beyond my capability. But still, I shall not back down. The path you choose to follow is up to you. I won't leave. I will follow Kinjo-kun's plan. I can't do anything on my own. Aw, I guess she just feels like she's too weak to leave. That sucks. Because I'm a fool. Aw, Kane, you're not a fool. You made it past you made it past chapter one. That's better than I than I thought you would, honestly. Better than Mizuno too. I'm following your plan and your plan alone. I can't condone your ideas and actions. That's fine by me if it helps you all. Think of me as Akane does. I wish to protect each of you as a leader and police officer. If I am able to achieve this, I shall be satisfied. I will not criticize or blame any of you if you choose to think little of me as a result. I care not for my reputation. He's such an interesting guy. But Kenjo! It's a waste of time to speak any further on this matter. In the end, I cannot allow myself to bond with anyone closely during a crisis. Isolation and exclusion aren't exactly foreign concepts to me. Don't worry about it. Why is everything falling apart? Kenjo continue the discussion without delay. Well then, let's proceed with our investigation of the second floor and the bathhouse. Uh, though before we disband, would you care to listen to a proposal I have in mind? A proposal? It will hopefully minimize the risk of potential danger, yet also may be perceived as a bit of a hassle. So I'd like all of us to decide together. Hmm. Let's hear it. I would like to implement two rules. Firstly, we should all have breakfast at a certain time together. 
Secondly, no one should leave the room after 10 p.m. Okay, so here he goes with the rules. I mean, those are too bad, you know, like, so far. I just feel like I could see him getting, like, a little more power trippy, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, like, I do appreciate him not, like, caring what they think of him. He seems like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to, like, figure out what I think about him so far. He definitely seems, like, off his rocker, you know? <laughs> but he does seem, like, genuine and wanting to protect them and, like, doing what he genuinely thinks is right. I definitely believe think that he like believes what he says you know it's just um I don't know I feel like I'm trying to think if it's in character for him to eventually power trip or not I can't totally decide if he is or not because he does seem like you know hey you don't have to listen to me which um I feel like is different than somebody who's just like super stoked on power but I don't know I'm just kind of thinking about it yeah Saruki analysis would be very uh very interesting for sure to elaborate on the first rule, we should all have breakfast together. Immediately following Monokuma's morning announcement, I guess I'll just see if he decides to keep Im implementing more rules and stuff. These don't seem so bad, but like, I can see it kind of being a slippery slope, you know? He hasn't really gotten pissed off at us, like, talking to the other people so far, so he hasn't been overly controlling or, you know, as controlling as I thought he might be, but we'll just kind of have to see, I guess. If we stay together while we are half awake from sleep, it would become difficult for a murder to take place in the morning. Furthermore, we can quickly check whether everyone's safe and unharmed. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, what about those three guys who left us? Who gives a shit about them? Do I have to repeat myself again? I thought we were settled about that topic. Uh. <laughs> those three people will have to eat breakfast as well, so we can probably meet them here. All well and good thus far. How about the second rule? I mean, I meant it literally. After Monokuma's nighttime announcement at 10 p.m., I think everyone should just stay within their dormitories at all times. Kind of reminds me of Celeste, though, because she was also the one. I think in Dragon Rumble 1, who was trying to set, like, uh, okay, nobody can leave at night, and she would get, like, upset when people were dying because they were, like, going against her rules. I could see him getting upset at them. Maybe he'd get more controlling after, like, uh, if he does survive till the end of the game. I could see it to where he sets these rules, people go against them, and they die. So maybe he comes up with like more stricter rules or he tries to find more strict ways to like control everybody. Like he's being open and kind of more understanding now, but he gets more and more um, kind of obsessive and controlling as like more people die. I could see that happening, but obviously it's just like a, uh, just a um, theory, a game theory. No one's gonna get murdered if everyone's a neat, huh? <laughs> That's right. Don't open the door to anyone, even if it's one of us knocking on it. But man, won't there be lads breaking the rules? What ought we do then? If you were thinking of breaking the rules already, you should leave your seat right now. I thought you agreed to follow my instructions. Blimey! I wasn't thinking of breaking them, believe me, mate! I, I actually sounds alright, as long as we follow our self-imposed rules. By self-imposed, I mean Kenjo-imposed rules. We can prevent something like what happened to Kyoka, at least. Kenjo-kun, I wasn't going to say it, since I can already tell what your, what your answer, answer will be. Are you eliminating the possibility of Kazuna-chan, Makaru, and Arihara, Arihara killing each other? Oh. Of course. They became traitors the, moments they, the moment they left us. The way I see it, if any one of them, if any one of them dies, they brought on themselves. Jesus. Ugh. Listen to me, Surugi. Even if the so-called traitors die, there will still be a class trial. Do not worry about that. I will find the culprit no matter what happens. You sound so confident, as expected from the ultimate leader. No, wait. Ultimate police leader. What, what was it again? You made the leader part up, dumbass. Sarugi, even if you don't care about the three friends who aren't with us, will you let me offer a proposal? I am sick of talking about those three. Jesus Christ. Let's hear it. What's your idea, then? I want to continue to speak to them and try convincing them to reconsider. Hopefully, then, they can cooperate with us again in the near future. <laughs> join our join our Kinjo cult. If I succeed in persuading them into joining our group, will you, too, welcome them properly as one of us? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll think about it. But only if they change their mind. Okay. I didn't actually think he would, uh... He would take him back. Alrighty, let's make that one of our top priorities. Can't let Yuki claim all the glory, right? I'll help too, maida -kun. Hold up, me too, me too. Sasuke wants more screen time. <laughs> Guys, 
Do as you please for now. Midas plan works. I'll lend some assistance. Okay, that's good. Right, let's go over the plan once more. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I like the idea of what I was seeing him getting like more and more unhinged as like more people die. I hope he doesn't die this chapter. He's a very interesting character. I feel like it'd be kind of like a shame if he did. We'll continue following Saruki's rules and instructions, but also try our best to convince Makaru, Kinji, and Kazuna to rejoin us. We can do it! I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be a lonely task, but it's honestly quite invigorating to see everyone excited to help each other out. Yes, this is who we are. We aren't down and out yet. We can fight Monokuma together as one. I believe that Sarugi will become open to cooperating with everyone someday. <laughs> At his core, he is still a righteous police officer trying to protect us. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see. What comes up what comes next is up to us. Thanks to everyone, I can feel a small glimmer of hope within us. A faint hope that will help guide us through our struggles. That will let us overcome the despair of Mitsuhiro and Kyoka's deaths. And our hope will overcome the despair of a class trial. We can try. After a slightly later than usual lunch with everyone else, we left the dining hall. Time to put our plan into action. Okay, more investigating, I think. It's gonna be free time. Afternoon. Might be free time now. I guess if I click on some people and it shows up in Korean, that means it's free time. Yeah, I guess we can just try to um, hang out with them. Um, I think Inoda? I feel like she's kind of the main person whose name I forget. I just feel like I don't want to talk to her as much. Or haven't really talked to her as much compared to other characters. Do, 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 Nobody's in here. Do, you, do, you, Kinjo cult. Oh, man. It do be the Kinjo cult. Maybe the dining room, maybe. Oh, there's a Kane. I guess I'll just see if it comes up in a Korean or not. Hi, Yuki. Let's make this another productive day. Should I hang out with a Kane? Let's go somewhere else, probably. Okay, yeah. I should probably get some presents. Kenjo Colt. Kenjo Colt. <laughs> oh, man. This is totally going to break apart disastrously. Huh? Isn't it? It seems like um, those texts are translated. Antiques door. Oh, Teruya, I want to hang out with you, man. Oh, what is this? This is the first time I've seen this. <laughs> oh, Minako, and wondering what this is? Curious, are you curious? Aren't you? Whoa, Monokuma? What? This red machine is a memento machine. Memento? Do you have any friends who unfortunately lost their lives? This machine was made so that you may never forget them. Oh, you can purchase using Monokuma medals touching that panel. Oh, interesting. Kind of reminds me of, like, <laughs> the execution uh, movies that you got in your turn to die. Well, it's up to you if you want to or not, but wouldn't it be better for you? It's a keep. It's a keepsake. What kind of sick joke is this? It's totally going to be them fucking dying. You get to see Kyoka getting murdered by Mitch. Oh, what a truly pleasant, truly pleasant gift. Oh, just warms your heart. A good gift to give Grandma on Christmas Eve. Huh, Mida? Um, well, that's that, so try using it at least once. Ooh, the price isn't cheap, though. I'll be going now. Uh, how expensive is it going to be? And here I thought I was rich. This isn't even something I'd want to try. <laughs> but Weeby does. But I suppose I should try it just in case. Which friend's memento would you like to purchase? <laughs> Which one should I get? <laughs> I kind of want to see Mitch just because I fucking hate him so much. <laughs> He's so fun to, like, meme on, you know? It's like, uh... Mitch's memorial. He was a douchebag that we all hated. <laughs> Lamo, bye bye. 50 medals. Double speech recovery per phase. Oh, double speech recovery. Oh, that's cool. So it's like uh, gonna help with. Um... I guess we'll see what um, Maki says too. Maki, remove non stop debate. Aim shaking point. Oh, interesting. It's gonna stop it from shaking? That's pretty crazy. That's the case. <laughs> Mitch getting mad in chat. <laughs> I kind of want to do both, honestly. I was like, they're only 50 coins, so... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do both. I'll do Mitch first. Okay, why not? Mitsuhiro Hika's ability has been acquired. Cardio Endurance. Oh, I don't get to... Do I get a movie, though? I want a movie! I want to see Mitch dying again. God, it was so much fun. <laughs> I just want to relive that moment, man. I'm basically Kenjo in that scene. Yes, one more time, let's see. I just want to watch him time one more time. 
<laughs> just one more time. Um, man, I wish there was a movie. Man, how many? Wait, do I still have 170 medals still? Really? Uh, why not? We'll get hers too. Bye. Precision aim has been acquired. Seriously, I have. Wow, that's a shit ton of medals. <laughs> Jesus. I should be good then, honestly, since I can't even hang out with everybody. I only have 120 medals. Spin the machine! Bachelor's memory was obtained. Huh. Game machine. Okay, I need some, like, doctor shit. Hula hoop! <laughs> Don't think I like that! Um. First aid box. <laughs> like. Mitch is like a memento thing could just be him like an AMV of him dying. <laughs> Headstone. Oh, um, what's your face like that, Makako? Man, I wish I could hang out with everybody. Model plane. Come on, I need some doctor stuff, please. Please. Rainbow umbrella. Oh, that's probably a uh, Teruya, right? Man, the Bible. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if Kenji didn't like the Bible. He's like, bring me another one of those uh, porno magazines. <laughs> hey, are you sure you're a preacher, Kenji? It's starting to kind of seem uh, suspicious at this point. Rare, Lua Mobile Wallet. Huh. Mobile Wallet? The heck? Head <laughs> another headstone? <laughs> oh my god, I'm not going to get anything for her. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Here's a mop. Okay. Oh, yeah. Akane would probably like that, right? Pure gold watch. Would Mitch have liked that? <laughs> I'm gonna run out of coins, dude. A man's romance. Oh! Kenji will like that one, huh? <laughs> like, uh, don't want the Bible. Men's romance. <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> yes. Mop was obtained. Yeah, first aid kit is something I need, right? Introduction to criminal psychology? Oh, what's his face would like that, right? <laughs> uh, Kenjo. Oh, thank you, Henrika Veloso, for the donation. I appreciate that. Thanks for uh, supporting the stream. The first aid kit? Did I get a first aid kit? Sneakers. Let me check. I see people saying first aid kit. I don't know if I just missed it. I can see that. <laughs> That seems very uh, on brand for me. Men's romance. Let's go. Um, I think it's an equipment, right? Helmet. Oh yeah, gift. Oh, I do have a first aid box. When did I get that? Was that? Did I just get that? Okay, whatever. I'll give that to her. I must have just missed it. Okay, now I just gotta find her. Nope. She might be on the second floor somewhere. I assume most people would be up here. Probably, right? I wish I could hang out with you again, Kenji. Man, I miss you, bro. Yeah, I was probably just looking away when I got it or something. I can be pretty out of it sometimes. Nobody's going to be in here, right? Can we give away whatever Mitch's post-trial item was? <laughs> Lamau. Uh, I wish I had, like, a map to where I could see where everybody is, you know? <laughs> Just going to wander around aimlessly until I find her. In the meantime... Oh, yeah, the library. I can see that. She's probably in here, right? Yay! Mr. Mina, I met you here. How's your research doing? I hope we find something soon. What should I do? Oh, yeah, let me save first, actually. Just in case. Do nine. Okay. I met you here. How's your research doing? I hope we find something soon. What do I do? Do I want to spend some time with Nori? Yep. Ah, you want to talk to me? It's like a Nori. I feel like... I'm trying to think of who else had that name. There's like another character, I feel like, with that name. I think it was like an animal or something, though. Sure, sure, let's spend time together, but not too long since we have to do some research. 
I spent time talking with Inori. It was mostly complex, so it hurt my head. But at least my relationship with Inori improved a bit. Would you like to give her a gift? Yes. Okay, give the gift, you go to the equip menu. Okay. It's kind of weird that's in the equip menu. Do do. Do I have anything else she would like, though? Like, for later? I guess not. Eh, whatever. Okay. Mind, are you giving this to me? Y you won't mind? Thank you very much. I actually wanted this. Aw. It makes me feel better when she's happy. Aw, you're so cute, Anori. Mr. Maida, are you feeling an ache or stuffy? Huh, no, I think I'm okay. I'm glad. Physical health can be affected greatly due to psychological factors as well. Especially in confined spaces like these. In limited situations, it's easier to lose health than in ordinary ones. Be careful, Mr. Maida. Oh, you were worried about me? Thanks. You really are a kind doctor. It is necessary. As a doctor, of course. If you are healthy, then I can't ask any more of that. No matter how much of a doctor you can be, you can care about the health of your friends that you just met only for a short amount of time. Mr. Maida, just in case you don't know, I'll tell you about a healthy lifestyle. First, move your eyes frequently. It's a good exercise. Oh. Moving them up and down 360 degrees. <laughs> I'm gonna look crazy if I do that though. <laughs> although there's although there's a high qual also there's high quality restaurants and it's not good to eat too much food. Because unbalanced diet is the natural enemy of health. Reduce salty, sweet, chemical additives, and Wait, I'm really thankful, but isn't that a little too much? Come on! You're making me give up my McDonald's. Hell no. Is it, Mr. Mida? Why are you stepping backwards? Come this way, knowing these will help you live a healthy life. Your eyes are strangely sparkling. You. Ah, health is the best thing in the world. Remember that. I'm gonna be so sad if she ends up killing somebody. She's so cute and like unassuming that I feel like I could see it happening. But we'll see. We'll see. I feel like I don't know. Just any kind of like doctor execution would be really creepy too. When the topic of health comes up and Nori's eyes turned a fire inside her, I got a little scared and left. <laughs> Still, I feel that she was genuinely thinking of her friends. Uh, I hurry, hurriedly rushed on and took off from Inori, who told me the common sense of health, the common sense of health, and promised to teach me more next time. Kanata Nori's record has been updated in the electronic student handbook. It's getting late, so I had to go back to my room. I think, I don't know if I have any other, uh, <laughs> any other, um, gifts to give her though unfortunately hello this is a school announcement now it's 10 p.m as such as night time the dining hall will be located will be locked and will become an off-limits area have good dreams and good night everyone sweet dreams please kill each other a day goes by today and there's not much progress on the investigation yet let's not lose hope as promised with everyone let's not leave our rooms at night and not open the door for anyone to come Let's just sleep quietly. Oh, it'd be interesting if somebody was knocking on the door, you know? Oh, that'd be so creepy. Somehow I feel like I'm used to sleeping here. I think it's going to get weird if I stay in a place like this. I have to leave quickly. I fell asleep quickly after thinking about other random things. Yep. There's somebody. Or no, okay, it's Monkuma. Hello, everyone! It's morning! 7 a.m. It's wake-up time, so let's have a lively day today! Damn it, none of you guys killed each other! <laughs> what is this? This is crap! This is crap! I don't I don't even dream these days. Didn't I read that dreams are made up from light sleeps? Oh, thank you, Henrik, Henrika Veloso. Hey, Weeby, is there any other finished Danganronpa fan games that you intend to play? I believe the sequel to this is finished. Um, you can't actually play that one, I don't think. I think you have to just like watch the uh, cutscenes for it. But yeah, I definitely plan on uh, reacting to that one once I finish this one. I'm not totally sure what other fan games there are that are uh, finished. I think like a lot of the ones that Blaze plays uh, are finished, like the Instagram uh, Rompa ones. But I haven't really looked into those too much. But uh, if you guys want me to react to any of those, let me know. It's definitely nice to react to ones that are finished, you know, so you can uh, Go ahead and get invested in the story and the characters and all that stuff, you know? But uh, thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Something called REM sleep, whatever it was. So that means I slept so well that I couldn't even dream? Ugh, it's ridiculous. To even sleep soundly in a situation like this. I'm a fool. I thought I was the opposite. I thought dreaming meant you were sleeping in or you were sleeping strongly. Oh, that's right. Starting today, after the morning announcement, we all decided to gather at the dining hall. To have breakfast. If I fail, the others will be worried or suspicious. Let's go. I'm 
Everyone, hello. Oh, Yuki, you came. It's like it seemed a little empty. I don't think I see Akane yet. Greetings, Mr. Maya. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> His smile so like... <laughs> it's like he's trying so hard to look like a normal human. <laughs> yes, I am sitting here like a normal human. <laughs> you can play SDRA too? Really? Okay. Let's see, um, just, uh, I guess I'll have to look at it and, uh, see, uh, where to play it at. Because I thought you could only react to videos, but granted, I only thought that you could react to videos for this one, too. Huh, hey, what about Taira, Hitano, Kobashikawa, and Ir Iranami? They haven't arrived yet. Come sit down and wait. Don't eat yet. We should all eat together. Huh, so hungry. Everyone ain't coming soon. There we go. I was like, yeah, those are the, mo the main two that I didn't uh, notice. <sighs> oh, hello, everyone. Sorry we're late, everyone. You two, why do you look so worn out? Oh, uh, working out. All right, Yami-chan and I got up at 6 a.m. and did morning did a morning workout together. I don't know. I feel like them being friends kind of feels like a little bit of a death flag, but we'll see. Akane, that was amazing. Naturally, the term of Ultimate Maid wasn't just for show. Your physical ability is equal or even better than mine. Oh, please don't be modest. I can't beat Ayame-chan. I'm not anywhere f I'm not anywhere faster. Uh, we should sit down and eat. Anybody else missing? Still, you two. <laughs> you already call each other by your own names? Yeah, as we continued to exercise, we became closer together. Ugh, I really feel like one of y'all is gonna die. I'm used to calling all the girls by their first names, right? Except Makaru. <laughs> She's a bitch. That's a good thing, because that deepens the bonds. All is well and good, but why aren't Kobashikawa and Iranami coming? It's already been 20 minutes. Okay, so it's Haru. Who is Iranami again? I feel like, uh, I just get confused because it's like I remember, like, the last names, but not the first names. Iranami, was that... Wait, is that Satsuki? I don't think I see her. Since the morning announcement. Seriously, to be this late for the first breakfast. You're fired! Why don't come any closer? Stop it! <laughs> What's going on with you guys? Wow, <laughs> what a coward! Kobazing is a real coward, eh? Kobazing. Hello, this is the coward Hari. Uh, she's doing like an impression. Hello, this is the coward Haruhiko Kobashikawa. <laughs> she play a prank on him? Kobashikawa, Iranami, what are you guys doing? They kind of do seem close so far. Maida, save me! What's going on? Uh, well, I woke up a little early for breakfast this morning, and then I met with Iranami while going to the gym to get pumped up. She said she was going to play basketball, and she asked me to teach her, too. So I tried to teach her how to dribble and do some light shooting. But then she didn't throw the ball at the goal. She instead threw it into my face. <laughs> oh, my God, there's more nosebleeds. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna freaking, <laughs> freaking die of blood loss. Look at this. I'm having nosebleeds again. Shoot, shoot, Satsuki, who learned er, acrobatics and basketball? She has now become the Japanese Michael Jordan. No one can stop me. Shoot, shoot. I couldn't even take my revenge because her movements were incredibly flexible. Damn it. <laughs> so that's why you were late. <laughs> you seem to have a good connection. D huh? Where do you even see this good connection? She's bullying me, man. Bullying me. Kobashikawa, you've succeeded in being friends with a girl you wanted so much. Enjoy your youth to the fullest. I didn't want this girl, dude. Among so many girls, why does it have to be the most annoying one? <laughs> you guys are cute. Shoot, shoot, shut, shut. Well, if you're safe, everyone sit down. Now let's start breakfast. However, if you're late for just flirting around, <laughs> I won't be lenient next time. <laughs> flirting? Eek, leader is scary. I'm sorry we were late too. Now let's begin eating. Seems decently understanding so far. Finally, breakfast started with everyone. I wonder if the other guys will join or not. Up until now, I've met a few people while coming for breakfast, but this was the first time I've had such a large group eating at once. Even though Makaru, Uihara, and Tamori didn't show any reactions, I felt that a breakfast with a group like this was more enjoyable than usual. They weren't there, right? Or were they just at a different table? I couldn't really tell. It's kind of hard to see sometimes. After breakfast, we decided to split up and investigate. All right then, what should I do today? Morning. Okay. 
guess I can try to hang out with uh, Inori again. I don't know if I really have anything else you would like, though. Do, do, do. Right? Red book. A book that will burn. <laughs> Who wants that? Oh, Model Tori Flame. That's going to be for Haru. Dazzling. Venus Award that shines in pure white. Mop. Game machine. Cap proof that you have successfully get. Oh, okay. Bachelor memory. Uh, headstone. Hula hoop. Man's romance. Somebody's favorite thing. How about giving it? Criminal psychology. Somebody's favorite thing. Oversized plushie. Would that be Kazuna, maybe? I can see her. I feel like she would like cute things. I guess I'll go back to the antique store. See if I can find anything else <laughs> to give her. Because I don't think I really have anything else. Wait, Kanana's event isn't translated for the slide. Just hang out with someone else and go back to her once that ends. Really? Huh. Hang out with the Bible dude? I don't know. Well, I guess I can try to hang out with somebody else. I just don't know who's translated or not. I'm going to save over nine again. Because I'd be happy to hang out with Kenji. I just don't know if I can or not. I wonder if my free time events actually would have saved with him too, since I hung out with him in the first chapter. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not translated. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Okay. Is she really not translated for this part? Yeah, it kind of seems like. Hmm. Oh, thank you uh, for saying you like my hair. I appreciate it. Oversized plushie is Ray? No way. And she really liked the oversized plushie. I feel like I don't see that being the case. I feel like she's going to get pissed off at me. Ever I gave like Celeste a plushie or I gave her like some kind of cute thing. Been talking to Rapa 1 and she hated it. She wouldn't even hang out with me. I was so upset. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can hang out with anybody. Can I even hang out with um, Inori this time? I wonder if I could have hung out with anybody last time then. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. Why did you guys all start speaking a different language all of a sudden? God dang it. This isn't fair. What is in here? The library is accessible, but the store is locked. Is that the sketchy thing Kenji was talking about? Makako may be translated since there's very little to translate. The Gs are translated on YouTube. Yeah, it's like, I'll probably just have to like, you know, go through these on YouTube for the most part. I kind of figured that would be the case. But if I can play some, you know, actually play through some, that would be nice. But we'll see. I'm assuming that most of them aren't going to be uh, translated, though. Yeah, the translator told me that uh, it was just... Um, crap. Uh, what's her face? The girl we hung out with last time. I got your criminal psychology thing. <laughs> I want to hang out with you, Sarugi. God dang it. <laughs> oh, man. If only. If freaking only I could. My best boy. Yeah, my other idea was, like, I could just... I already have, like, the playlist pulled up. If you guys want to just... I might have to just go to sleep, honestly. And then we can watch, like, some free time events. Um, just, uh... I probably can't, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why can't I find her, dude? You're the... My only hope, Inari. Inari? Inari? Inari, I think. Inari. Where would she be? You're not gonna hang out with you, right? Nope. Oh, yeah, she might like the stuffed animal. I think that makes the most sense. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I don't think anybody can hang out right now. Damn it. What, are, what happens if I do just try to hang out anyways? It'd be nice just to get the, uh... You know, get the skill or whatever. But I don't know if that's really gonna be possible or not. Uh... <laughs> Let's just try it anyway. Well, I don't know. I guess I probably shouldn't, right? Because then I'll get spoiled on the uh, sprites or whatever. Oh, it seemed like it went through even though I didn't give her anything. I should probably just go to sleep, right? Okay. Maybe we can... Um, let me go to her playlist. Is hers translated? Oh no, I don't see hers uh, translated actually on here. Let me do... do, do. Okay. Uh, let me kind of mess with my setup for a second. Do. Um, 
Oh wait, wrong display capture. One second, guys. Technical difficulties. There we go. And then let's mute this for a second. Okay, so these are the ones that I know Zeph has translated so far. So I guess we could do one of these, maybe? Like, uh... I guess we could do Kenji, since we already did some of his before. I don't know if that would be a good one to go through. Just kind of an idea. Good to meet you, my friend. Let's see. So, uh... <laughs> his underwear. <laughs> Is that his underwear right there? Would you guys want to do that? Just to, um... Just to kind of, like, um... Whatchamacallit? You know, uh, whatchamacallit, um, <laughs> do something so it's like kind of in order. We can, I think it's probably fine to just do this. Are you guys cool with Kenji? Just let me know. I'm going to take a drink. These are bonus ones. Let's see, unique free time event. Ah, uh, what the heck? Okay, one second. Let me, um... Uh, okay. Let me try to... Um... Okay, here's, um, temp accounts. Okay, so this seems a bit more... I was gonna say, these seemed really short. <laughs> Okay, uh, I wish there was like a playlist or something though. I just, where's the playlist? I don't want to see any spoilers looking up this stuff. Um, it seems like Kenji's are right here if we just want to do that. Satsuki has dialogue translated when you deny her a gift. Recommend doing that when going back to Kanata. She should be translated then. Oh, Satsuki, when you deny her a gift, when you deny her a gift. Okay. So go to Satsuki and go back to uh, Kanata. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, sorry guys. <laughs> Just trying to figure out some stuff right now. I think um, I think I found this regular free time events by temp accounts. I saw some people in the uh, chat saying that that was uh, what it was. I think this is, um, I'm not hearing the audio. Is there not any audio on this? I guess there might just not be any audio. It's kind of hard to know. I don't really, I guess I just wanted to have a friendly talk with you. I think, um, I already did, like, do do, -do. <laughs> See, necessary, blah, blah, blah. Graduate with seminary, consider the church, Deacon, Italy, birth mother, surname. I think I did all this. Father's still in Italy as long as. Da, 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 da. Not dangerous, and the pastors. I'm trying to think of. Uh... <laughs> What's going on in here? <laughs> what is Mitch doing here? I thought you were dead, bro. Honor is not. I think, uh, yeah, I don't think this has any audio to it, unfortunately, but we can still, um, we can still do it. Honor's not mine, I'll do a show him a new path. I think, I think I did this. I guess I got, like, halfway through his then. Path you believe is right. That's my idea of propagation and personal motto for mine. Dang, when I'm talking with Kenji, it really feels like my heart is being purified and relaxed. I can see how he was able to become the ultimate priest. I think that might be the end of that one, maybe? But still, it's amazing, Kenji. I believe presenting them, the path is the way of expressing your face. Okay. Oh, is that the playlist unknown? Thank you, unknown. I will um add that to my uh Okay, perfect. I can look at that later. Can I go through? <laughs> I know, right? What's Mitch doing over the corner with the ball? Oh, <laughs> oopsie. I guess I can get the music back if I wanna do that. Do you Okay. <laughs> okay. This is amazing, Kenji. I believe presenting the presenting the path is the way of expressing your faith. Is this too confusing? What do you guys want me to do? <laughs> is it too confusing to go from this one and then try to do the cutscenes for the other one? So I just do like a free time event stream? I can't really tell. <laughs> oh man. You guys can just let me know. I just like, I feel so awkward trying to find where I left off. It's a little hard too since like it doesn't, 
change like the scenery very often. It's like I don't think I did this since I heard it. Um, I don't know. I might just I might just do this like another time when it's like a little bit easier. I just feel so awkward trying to uh <laughs> trying to um whatchamacallit like figure out where I left off. Cause I feel like I don't know. I think personally I would prefer a um if you're already on it in the game, continue. I know it's just like it just takes so much time to like find the spot I left off at. I feel like it's like boring and stuff. I don't know. Um, let's see. It just feels confusing. I'd rather watch a free time event stream personally. That's kind of what I think too, honestly. It just feels like it'd be better personally if that was the case in my opinion as well. Okay. I think, um, <laughs> like how it has a... Okay. <laughs> Double. Yeah, I think it would just be easier to organize a free time event stream. Because I was thinking it could be nice. But, um, I might just exit out of this too and restart it. Because, um really need to uh, reload. Cause it might just be easier if I sleep, you know? Okay, load. You guys on save nine. Well, I'll just do that. Cause it's just too freaking confusing otherwise. I guess I'll just sleep then. Or somebody was saying I could hang out with, um, what's her face? The clown girl, I think. Or wait, did I, did I load the right thing? Okay, yeah, I think I did. think so <laughs> right please tell me I loaded the right one okay whatever I'm just gonna sleep <laughs> I think that makes the most sense since nobody is really translated right now let me just double check that I'm at the right yeah yeah this is when everybody was not translated anymore okay yeah we'll just sleep and do a free time event stream I think that makes a lot more sense Okay, time to be a loner and sleep on my own. Goodbye, everyone. I hate you all. Where am I? Here I am. Oh, look at me. I got a little blush. Little blush. So cute. Still a long way from night, but I think I might be able to sleep right now because of my fatigue. Sleep. Sleep. Pour some Morgana when you need her. Him. <laughs> and I slept like a dead person. Night was already approaching. I decided not to wander around at night, so I decided to rest in my room. Hello, this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m., such as it is nighttime. The dining hall will be locked and all that good stuff. Have good dreams. Please kill each other. I'll be watching. Now, I don't know if I'm investigating properly these days. I'm just sleeping all day. I think about it every day, but when will I ever be able to get out of here? Is there really a way out? Maybe someday I might die? No, why am I thinking this? Let's just forget it. I have to trust everyone. We can definitely get out someday. I'll bet on that chance. It's late. Let's get some sleep today because tomorrow we have to we have to meet early for breakfast together again. Time to <laughs> What happens if I try to go out? I can't disobey. I can't disobey my leader Kinjo and the Kinjo cult. Sleep, sleep. Forget all your thoughts and just sleep. Sleep, sleep. Wake up, you sleepy assholes. It's a new day, and I'm getting drunk as I am every day because you're not killing each other. Um, it's already morning. I didn't dream again. Seriously? Ugh, let's go to the dining hall quickly. He was saying that, like, you sleep well when you don't dream. I don't know. I'm so suspicious of him, bro. Like, I really feel like he's secretly the mastermind, and he just, like, doesn't know it yet. Sasuke chan try this. It's delicious. Oh, oh. Uh, amazing signs. <laughs> How can you say parentheses with your mouth? It's a talent. Kurokawa, do you only eat this? Um, That's no good. This is an age where we grow up the most. Look at this. You don't drink a lot, Kurokawa. But you're so skinny, right? Oh, this. This pie kills my taste. This is my only pleasure while being in this school. Somehow it seems like everyone is being a bit more energetic now. Yeah, definitely, yes. It's only been two days since the last incident, but isn't that good evidence that everyone is 
Overcoming their despair? <laughs> Why you say that? <laughs> Ding dong! <laughs> Any moment now. Indeed, if we continue to hesitate and mourn here, we won't be able to overcome their deaths. We have to be strong. Yeah, but it would have been nice if the other three who aren't here could eat with us. I was thinking it's probably super awkward for them to try to join while we're eating together. Ugh, what are you? You all eat together? <laughs> Losers. Uh, Tamori. Wait, why are you here? Didn't you say you were leaving our group? I still gotta eat, bro. Kinjo-kun, stop doing that! Kazuna-chan, did you come for breakfast? Isn't it obvious? And don't call me by my first name. It feels ugly. Kazuna-chan, why are you so hostile to us? You're not Makaru, are you? Don't look at me the same way as that bitch. It's kind of interesting, too, that her and um, Makaru, like, they don't get along so much, but they're both, like, the girls who are kind of, like, loners and stuff at the same time. Kind of, like, similar but different. I just don't like it. All of you. First, you're in a position where you're not in command. You submit it to someone else. Who are you to be in a position to give orders? What? You, you didn't want to join us for that reason? That's the reason. That's why I am more important than anything. I've been always like that. I can't live and dance around under dance around under others' orders like you guys. She's stubborn. Hey, what are you guys? It seems like you're worried about me. It's a completely useless worry, isn't it? Did you think I was lonely? Tamori, she was pretending to be strong. Tamori, she was pretending to be strong, but her voice was trembling a little. Uh She's just trying to, like, act big, you know? That's not it, Miss Tamori. We really like you. Stop. She doesn't want to join us. A girl like this, we don't have the time to force, forcefully do this. Even so. <laughs> I'll just have breakfast in the kitchen. Don't come near the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Um, hey, everyone. Are you enjoying your school life? To commemorate this day, your teacher Monokuba has a present for you. Please gather at the gym on the first floor as soon as you hear this broadcast. And if you don't come, it's against the rules. <laughs> what now? I guess a new motive. Monokuma? You guys are getting all too friendshipy and shit. What do you mean, present? Everyone, calm down. You guys don't believe that Monokuma's gift is genuine, right? We have no choice but to go. Everyone, let's leave breakfast and go to the gym. As you've heard, if we don't go, it's against the rules. There's no other way. Tamori, whether you come or not, it's up to you. Because I'm not referring to you. Get lost, loser. Oh, is that so? Kenjo-kun, why do you have to say that? I really don't see Akane lasting long in this group. She, you know, she acts like, you know, she can't be a leader and she's a follower and stuff. But she's a very strong person. I don't feel like I can see her obeying um, Kenjo for super long. Tamori, let's go together. Uh, screw you. Do you think I want to go with you guys? I'm going alone. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, that idiot. We can tell she's pretending. She doesn't want to be alone. But being this stubborn. Yeah, I don't know how to, like, really get her to <laughs> switch over, you know, or be honest. Hey, did you guys hear me? This is not the time to be concerned about Tamori. If we don't hurry up, we're all going to die for violating the rules. Yeah, I'm worried about Tamori, too, but we should head to the gym, everyone. Yeah, she is being super duper stubborn. She has, like, a lot of, um, I don't know, trust issues, it seems like. We walked quickly to the gym. What now? Why did you tell me to come, berry thing? <laughs> bear thingy? Obviously, it's... Hey, how's the fun friend game with Psycho Cop? <laughs> I love Ray, dude. She's just honest. <laughs> Is that really funny? Makaru, do you have no intention of being together again? Not only Makaru, but Uehara and Tamori, too. Just talking about this makes my mouth hurt. When you guys become as good as me, then I'll act with you. That queen attitude. Ugh, queen shit, man. Makaru, be prepared. I'll make sure we work together. I'll make sure the day comes when I call you Ray-chan. <laughs> Whatever. More importantly, Monokuma is not coming out. Hiya, here I come. Just putting on my makeup. <laughs> this little sprite's so cute. Sorry, sorry. I'm a little bit late because I've been with a dilemma today lately. 
Aren't you a little curious? How on earth am I supposed to find a conclusion? Is Monokuma-sama a male or female? <laughs> what? Shut up and explain why you gathered us. Can't you just adjust the mood a little bit? Well, it doesn't matter. It's not like I wanted to tell you anyways. You guys must be wondering the reason I suddenly called you guys. I spoke about it a little bit on the TV, but I wanted to give you guys a gift. A gift? It's totally going to be something bad. Can you see the box next to me here? There are a total of 13 notes in this box. Oh, okay, is it going to be the same thing as in the uh, second game? It was like, uh, there's secrets, right? You just need to draw a note one by one as if you were drawing lots for a box. On those notes, what is written in them? Oh, Miss Tyra, good question. What is written on these notes? That is secrets that you want to hide are written in it. Okay, yeah, so it is the same uh, motive. Secrets that we want to hide? Yep, that is, that is the motive I prepared this time. The secret drawing. In these 13 notes inside the box, each of you has a secret written on it. But it's no fun to know your own secret, right? Oh, so they are going to see other people's secrets. Okay, so it is a little bit different. It's kind of like the one that I made up in the V3 randomizer. That's why it's a drawing! I wonder if it's going to say whose secret belongs to who then or not. Ooh, it would be kind of more interesting if it didn't say who uh, it belonged to. Because then, like, you could just kind of go suspecting people, being like, I know this is your secret, Kinjo, you sussy baka. See each other's secrets and enjoy the shameful part of others. Don't you think it's fun? The best part is that you won't know who's going to pick whose secret. What? What's so funny to play with other secrets? Isn't that super low? It's almost... It's also a motive and you're giving us something like that again? <clears throat> Don't pick them, everyone. Give up your voting rights. No, you have to pick them all. It's the headmaster's order. What if we don't pick them? Haha, <laughs> then you don't have the ability to learn. If you want to look like Higakun, don't pick it. <laughs> I wouldn't try it. You gotta join Midge. This bastard, that's total tyranny. We can't. We have no choice but to do it. There's no way we can fight against it right now. Hey, let me ask you one thing. Should the secret written on the note be revealed to everyone after pulling it out? Or is it okay if only the chosen one knows? Yeah, it's up to your... It's up to your freedom. If you don't want to uncover your friend's secret, it doesn't matter, even if you don't look at it yourself. You guys are supposed to see it anyways. Human beings always want to know what others don't know about. This was definitely it. Such a ridiculous and mischievous motive. But it was still a motive enough to attract, to attract people's hearts. Now then, come up here one by one and pick them up. Also, a person who draws two will be punished. So only one at a time. One at a time. It's really annoying. Oh, <laughs> why do I sound like Monokuma? It's really annoying to have to obey Monokuma's words. But if we don't, he'll kill us. Now, in order to survive, we have no choice but to follow Monokuma's instructions. We went one by one and pulled out the papers from the box. After all 13 people pulled out the notes... Good, everyone grabbed one note. How is it? It's just fun stuff, right? Oh god, I'm scared. I won't see it. Okay, everybody gonna say like, oh, I'm not gonna look at the note I pulled. I'm gonna be a good girl. But then you know, you know they're looking at the notes. Me too. Seeing a friend's shameful secret, I can't even lift my face because of guilt. Because there wasn't a rule about actually looking at it, right? Jeez, it's a little different from what I expected. <laughs> you guys are wimps. It's fine. Monokuma told us it's up to us whether to watch or not. Let's not see it, everyone. Well, it doesn't matter. There are some of you guys who are watching already. Ah. Uh, and what? Who's watching? Miss Makaru and Kinjo. <laughs> Kinjo? <laughs> Kinjo-kun? What the fuck? <laughs> that you're all about friendship and shit. Hmm. I guess, yeah, he's still very untrusting, so he'd want to know. <laughs> hey, is this the end of it? Yeah, I don't think... I don't know who Miss Makaru picked. Why, you don't like it? It's my fault for um, expecting something like you. It's my fault for expecting something like you. Did you get mine? It's like, I wet the bed. Like Makoto's. Something super boring. What, she just... I wanted the cop secret, damn it. You're not even trying to get us... Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, my alarm went off. I need to get rid of that alarm. You're not even trying to get us with this kind of prank, are you? Kinjo, what was written on it? Oh, shit. 
Kakuri Yamaguchi was teased for being too big in elementary school. Is that really it? Is he just making it up? We'll see. Huh? How did it? My trauma? Aw. Kinjo must have picked Yamaguchi kun's secret. Huh. Is that really the one he got? I don't know. I was kind of expecting he was going to get something like really fucked up. <laughs> like, there is a murderer. Like, uh, how are you killed someone? Ooh. So he would freak out. But I don't know. I don't know. And, uh, we'll, we'll see. I can't tell if he's, uh, if he's being honest or not. What, you're keeping such a silly secret? Something silly? It's a memory I wanted to forget. But how does Monokuma know that secret? It seems like it was really affecting this guy, so I guess it might have been, uh, for real. Blah, royal disappointment here. This is just a real prank. So I was like, he could just kind of guess that, you know? But it seems like, uh, something that really deeply scarred him, so... I guess it, he could be telling the truth. I wonder if he'll want to, like, try to learn everybody else's secrets, though. I could see that. I will see it. Oh, God. Ah! What is this? Very useless information. Who in the world would want to know this? Huh. Ha, <laughs> so it is a joke after all. What a motive this is. Shut up. You shouldn't even sleep with your dad at your age, you weirdo. <laughs> I guess most of them are going to be stupid. There's probably going to be, like, one or two that are really messed up, though. Yeah, how did you know? <laughs> Terry needs to wake up. Is this really just a funny motive? Now that you've got a wonderful motive, will a murder happen now? Will you kill Teruya for sleeping in the same bed as his dad? I'm just gonna leave. Release steam. I'm going. Bye bye, Kazuna. Then what do we do? Oh, is it lagging for you guys? Hopefully not. Seems like it's saying it's okay on my end, but just let me know. Then what do we do? Look or not look? Personally, I don't think this is a big deal, but since Monokuma gave us a motive, we don't know what will happen next. Whether to watch or not is a personal choice. Instead, no matter what you see, don't let it get to you. And for the time being, be more vigilant around this place from now on. Okay. Seems like it's good. Hopefully, uh, y'all didn't miss too much. I may need to change my settings for a little bit. Because I think these are the settings I put in for AI uh, Somnium, but it might be better to change them for this game. This Monokuma was just trying to make us waste time, right? Either way, regardless of reason, I have a question. Kurokawa, why did you tell us not to look? Is hers really bad? Um, hey, I know you usually don't... Hey, I know you usually don't talk, but you just can't stick to silence always. Uh, aww. Just, I had an ominous feeling. Guys, listen to her! An ominous feeling. I have one as well. This motive is too lax to say the least. So little for a murder to happen. No, personally, I wish I hadn't seen it. Oh. Are you Harakun? Is he not going to reveal his, though? It's wrong to see other people's secrets, but there's something else. Something more than Monokuma's motive. I have a feeling it's going to happen. Oh, shit. Hey, you decided not to meddle with us, didn't you? What makes you believe you can give your own opinion here? This is my cult, dude! Go make your own! Kinjo-kun, please, just stop that! No, he's right. I meddled over the subject. I apologize. But that note, do be careful with it. I don't wish to see anyone die, either. Bye, Kenji. I miss you. Is this it? Personally, I don't want to see it! When Kinjo told my secret... For you guys, it may not have been a big deal, but for me, it showed memories that I wanted to forget. Aw, poor Kakaru. Poor little guy. That's probably why he's so shy, too, because he was bullied so hard. Yeah, I don't like seeing secrets, even if they're my own. Ugh. Okay, then let's take care of this notes. Take care of these notes on our own. I've already said mine, so I can't do much about it. Yeah, let's just do that. So then, are we dismissed? Yeah, it was during breakfast, so let those who ate less continue, and let's resume our activities, as usual. In the end, the gift that Monokuma gave us didn't get much response, so we decided to ignore it, but as Kurokawa and Urihara said, there still remains an uneasy feeling. I decided not to watch it. Everyone else decided not to watch <laughs> As the So they say, I'm just curious for not checking and can't get my mind off of it. I guess they mean read it, too. I think that might be just like a mistranslation because it wasn't like a video right it's like a note is everyone gone 
Everyone disbanded according to Kendra's words, and now I'm in the gym currently alone. Oh, shit. Sorry, everyone. I don't want to watch it, but <laughs> I'm going to do it anyways. I'll check it out just in case. Even though I knew it was an act of betrayal to my friends, I couldn't overcome my overflowing curiosity and ended up opening the note. Of course, everybody's gonna freaking look at the, uh, freaking look at the note. Makako Kurokawa might actually be talkative. Oh, are we finally gonna get screen time for you? I just know she's the best girl. I get that feeling that she's gonna be the best girl, but I just haven't gotten enough, like, you know, haven't seen enough of her yet. That was all that the, that was all that was written on the note. Let's go talk to her. This too, it's just useless. I crumbled the paper and threw it in the trash. Hmm. Afternoon. Interesting. Okay, I might end it for here now since uh, it kind of has been. Uh, I'm just really tired today. <laughs> I feel like you guys might have noticed. I feel like I'm kind of out of it. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Are you guys gonna let me know, I guess, if I should go a little bit longer or not? I assume, um, might be good to kind of do what we did last time, like an investigation and victim episode. And then like, so like kind of what I did for V3, daily life, deadly life, trial. That's kind of what I was thinking I would do for this game, but we will see. You guys can let me know what you think. I wasn't sure if it'd be like shorter or longer than like the V3, uh, you know, I don't know, shorter or long enough. Too short or too long for episodes, I guess is the only thing. I figure if the investigation episode, like the victim in investigation episode is too short, we can always look at the free time events afterwards, but. Like we were talking about earlier, it might be better to do like a, uh, I don't know, like a free time event stream so it's more organized, you know? <laughs> it's okay to add it into multiple parts. Okay, yeah. We will see. I think an important scene happens soon, so up to you. I think Daily Deadly Trial is good. Yeah, I kind of like organizing it that way, just so you can always kind of have a good idea of like, okay, this is the daily life, this is the daily life, this is the trial. I just like having it organized that way, but, um... Like I said, if the uh, deadly life's too short, I guess we can go ahead and jump into the trial afterwards, since I um, don't think it should be, you know, too hard to do that. But, okay, anyways, uh, thanks guys. I will uh, see y'all next week at the same time on Sunday. Thanks for coming to the stream. I really appreciate um, all the support you guys have shown on these streams. I've had a ton of fun playing this. I'm so glad that it's like fully translated and playable. It just like, uh, it makes it so much more immersive to actually like walk around and stuff, so. It's really nice, but uh, yeah, I will hopefully have a video up this week. I'm working on a Kaya analysis too, so I think that one would probably go up like next week if I get that done. I was coping, of, was kind of hoping to have like just more chill, like dogging off a video up this week, but uh, I'll have to try to record soon <laughs> and get that up. But yeah, uh, thanks guys. I appreciate uh, all the support and stuff, and I'll see you next time.